You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet. Welcome to another Tadpog podcast. Artisanal. Artisanal, homespun. <laughs> that was, I just. Home it's, brewed. It sounded like a very artisanal welcome. Like, yeah. it was like, we just opened up this podcast shop. Hey, y'all. Come in. Won't you welcome? Come on in to our artisanal. Peruse, <laughs> peruse our wares. Home, I got some, some nice baked good video comments. <laughs> Wait, wait, video? I don't what? fucking know. <laughs> video what? <laughs> comments. Comments? Commentary. Co- oh, comments. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got it now. Sorry, keep going. I'm being bad. I, I, got, I, got, I, I got a gun. <laughs> I got a gun. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this about me, but uh, I'm the bad boy of improv podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a reputation. Yeah, and that's what it is. Well, uh, yeah, today, everybody, we're going to be talking about, courtesy of the randomizer, Super Turrican. Super Turrican. One. Only 600-ish episodes after we did Super Turrican 2. We did Super... I think Super Turrican 2 was like episode 9 or something Very like that. Very early it was on. Super early on in the life Pre-kids, spanners. and we beat it together in your living room. Did we beat it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you re-listen to that episode by any chance? No. No, me neither. I sure as hell did not want to do that. I was like, do I want to cringe for an hour and a half or nah? I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. I can't remember who it was. It might. It was probably Graham or Zal who shared the link in chat when I was streaming Super Turrican on Twitch, and it was like, Whoa. Get the shit out of here. I didn't say anything, but I was definitely thinking like, Whoa. Zal banned Grim. <laughs> Zal banned that episode. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't remember who posted. I wish I could, but yeah, when I saw it pop up, it's like, Ooh. it's the early days. Oh God, very early days. Yeah. So remember, I'm pretty. I'm pretty certain we beat it. I don't know that we did, honestly, but. You know what? It's been a long time I thought maybe we ago. saved, like, we got it further as we could and then just, like, save scummed to finish it. I don't remember. I really don't. I, I, don't, I remember not liking it, so mm-hmm. I don't think that I really even wanted to finish it. That's why I don't think that I beat it. Yeah. Um, maybe you did and I watched. I don't know. I do. Maybe I went back and beat it, yeah, and saved scum the shit out of it just to have it done. Because I think we've done a good job of beating every game up until that point. Oh, yeah, but the episode nine, First eight yeah, games, we were pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, we were on a streak. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like, well, I've played enough to get the gist of it. And it's like, if I really like a game, then I'll, you know, play it more. Mm-hmm. But if I don't, it's <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> but Super Super Turrican was more different than I thought it would be yeah. from Turrican 2. Yeah, no, I agree. And in, in a better way, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and say this. I think that Super Turrican is way better than Super Turrican 2. I agree that it's better. I don't know if that gets way better, but I do think it's better. Okay. You don't think it's way better because you still think it's not a great game? or what? Yeah, I still okay. don't love it. I liked it. Yeah. I liked I'm it. I'm kind of surprised that, that, love you li- it. that you liked it. It has it had its few like frustrating moments for me, but sure. I like it okay. Well, there are some very demanding parts of the game. Yeah. like There are some parts where it's like, did you play it all? Like, did you make it through it, or did you? I played as far as I could. I kept, I couldn't beat the factory. I kept dying and okay. having to start over the factory. So, like after the factory, there's like this snow level, and it's like there are some jumps in the snow level where it's like they're pixel perfect. They're they're <sighs> pixel perfect jumps, and it's like it, the ground is slippery because it's a snow mm-hmm. level. I, I watched like you got mammoth robots rolling snowballs down <laughs> yeah. the hills and shit. Yeah, and then there are like. Wind physics in several parts. There are wind physics in level one of the game. That I died <laughs> so many times to the fucking wind physics in level one. Which I get what they're doing. They're showing you from the very beginning, like, 
this is a thing that you have to be aware of in this Robots game. Robots have to deal with wind. Everybody you, does. You got, yeah. So it's like, I don't know, like the bright side of being in the warehouse is like, thank God there's no wind in a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, do, uh, before we delve into that. Do you, uh, I feel like we're done. To? All right. <laughs> Let's take some calls. Let's take a bunch of calls. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. You you were, you were saying I'm the bad boy of improv. I you are, know. man. Uh, I don't know anything. Uh, what have you been up to? Anything of note? <laughs> Lots, man. Yeah. Just like so many things. Fuck yeah. Uh, we're a one car family right now because Nikki's AC stopped working in her car. Oh, and guess what? They don't know what the problem is. So that's always well, the problem. Fun. Is the AC's not working? Fix it. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we figured the problem out, <laughs> but it has something to do with the wiring, which is always what you want to hear. Shit. So because like, they have to have out the dash and all that kind of shit to get to it, probably. Who knows? And then oh, they're right. like, we caught like there was one day where like the guy, the guy who's there who works on the wires, I guess, was just like, no, nah, he didn't come in today. Our, w- <laughs> Our wire guy. <laughs> Our wire guy, man. We only got one. Yeah. So. There's that, <laughs> which, you know, honestly isn't really that bad because it's like, I just drive her, I drive Henry to daycare in the morning and then drop Nikki off at work. Mm-hmm. I go to work and then at lunch I come and pick her up and then we go home and then I bring her back and then I go back to work and then it's it's not a big deal. Yeah, uh, It's actually honestly kind of nice to like see them more in the morning, you know, because otherwise yeah. I'm just a lazy piece of shit and stay in bed until... <laughs> The absolute last possible yep. moment, and they're already <laughs> gone by then because yeah. you know they're like productive members of society doing things. Um, and I'm just like, oh, it's 7 40, oh, fuck. fuck. Okay. <laughs> and then I roll yeah. out of bed like a slug and then put yeah. clothes on. Latest like, I get up and get going at 7 45, yeah. I just want to stay in that bed, man. Oh, I get it. I just oh, want really to that- just wanna stay in that bed. <laughs> we got a new storm door. So we got that going for All us, right. which is nice. All right. I noticed some dry rot on the threshold, and uh, oh, yeah. So we had to get that fixed because I was like, "What are all these ants doing? Why are they going into our? They look so happy. What's going on? Why are they going into our door?" And then I was like, "Oh God, please let them be ants and not termites." And Do you have ants in your mailbox? <laughs> it's just a prank call. <laughs> no, I mean, is there, there a cow in your garden? <laughs> <laughs> there have been several times where I've opened my mailbox and it's just been like. Swarming with ants, and Melissa said it was a thing. I just don't know why. Don't we we experienced that. We have had them in there before. We put a little like ant trap in there, then they were gone in a day. But just like why? Like there's nothing. There's nothing for you in there, ants. <laughs> it's a I, lot of work and nothing in there. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, because we don't keep a lot of sweets in our uh, in our <laughs> mailbox. mailbox. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not on any like monthly candy subscription <laughs> services or anything like that. That I can understand a little bit. But yeah, it's like. It's just a, a last notice water bill in there. Yeah. In there, ants. You don't want that. Yeah, and I did. I, I mean, I did order that ant farm that did break in my mailbox. But outside <laughs> of that, I don't know what it could be. Yeah, I don't know, man. Have you? So when I okay, so when I was in third grade, I think it was third grade, third or fourth. I lived in Florida, and uh, I remember one night. It's weird, man, because like this night is burned into my memory because it was so fucking weird. Someone kept calling the house and prank calling the house and asking if our cow was in their garden. (laughs) And to this day, I do not know what that means. And I do think (laughs) about it from time to time. And I might actually need to text my dad right now and ask him why his cow is in my garden. Let's call him. Let's prank. Let's do my, he doesn't have my number. And we'll call him. (laughs) You know what? Like here's here. We can just pretend we're doing the call. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dad, is Henry there? No, Henry's not there. We're recording. Is Henry there? No, he's not. Dad, he's not here. Is Henry there? <laughs> Tolly, what, every, I called him on Father's Day. He's like, is Henry there? <laughs> Should have named him David. I've always wanted a good son named David. <laughs> he actually explicitly told me, do not name your son David. <laughs> He's like, that needs to end. And I was like, Kill it with fire. I was like, fair enough. <laughs> you got my support. I'm doing my part. Henry it is. Yep. <laughs> Until your sister does it. I don't think she's going to have a kid. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Yeah. She says that she's not. Um, but, you know, there's a version of me in the past that also said that. Mm. So. Yeah. Who knows? She'll probably stick to it, though. 
Yeah. Because she likes, you know, freedom and stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? She's also she's also like twenty six years old. So yeah. that's kinda, you know. When I was twenty six years old, I sure as fuck was not like, Yeah, man, let's have a kid. <laughs> How old were you uh when you got married? Uh let's see, let me do some quick maths. Uh I was twenty eight. Twenty eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's twenty eight. And yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want a kid at twenty eight. No, oh, yeah, uh, uh-uh. uh. I mean, what I is mean, it? I had one at twenty nine, but twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The seventies? You know. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, have we finished? Well, we're uh, we're current with Odd Taxi now. The uh, the Animal Crossing yeah. Noir anime, <laughs> which is really super. It's really, really, it's really, really good. Okay. Um, we got, I think one more episode left and it hasn't published yet, but that's coming. That'll actually, by the time this podcast airs, I'll have seen it yeah. and I'll be in the melancholy of there being no more odd taxi. <laughs> mm. The show hole. Yeah. No, I'm really like, the, the, well, the way we've been doing anime and it's like, okay, we watch a series. We immediately have to move on to a series. Otherwise I do feel that melancholy of mm. like, well, that's done. <laughs> That's know? how I feel when I put down one of like Brendan Sanderson's books. It's like, well, oh, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. We're watching, we started Vivi um, Fluorite Eyes song today, which is like a really weird title. I was about to say, like, is yeah. he just saying words to fuck with me? Yeah. Dave's Vivi having a stroke. Fluoride <laughs> sight word song. <laughs> Doc recommended Computer it. paper <laughs> towel plate. <laughs> Doc recommended it because, like, Doc was like, "Dude, I love Odd Taxi." And I was like, "Fuck yes!" So, like, all right. And he's like, "Here's another one that I recommend. That's from this current season." And it's like, "All right, hey man, you love Odd Taxi. I love your anime posts that you do on Patreon." So it's like, "Let's fucking let's go." So Nikki and I watched the first episode of that today, and it is, um, it's really, it's really interesting. <laughs> it's essentially like. Terminator 2 meets like the like uh god what's the word for it like it meets like Japanese diva culture like I mean it's like so like it's the singers and shit yeah oh okay uh so it's like it's all about uh like the singularity you know AI killing humanity kind of deal and it's like time travel is involved and it is very much like I haven't read or seen any interviews of like the creators, but I do want to know how much Terminator Two like influenced this anime because it is, I mean, it's mm. it's very much reminiscent of like, well, got to go back in the past to like fix some shit so that robots don't kill all the humanity. <laughs> uh, except instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger, we're gonna have like um, a very cute robotic singer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean of that. And her robotic teddy bear companion that they, <laughs> they argue constantly. <laughs> so it's like, all right, I'm in. And it's it is. It's good. It's weird. It's like the most jarring thing about it is like we started watching it and it's like no intro, no outro. And it was like, what is this even anime? <laughs> that is, yeah, you're right. That is weird. I mean, it was like cold open, fucking I don't I don't I guess they don't legally have to run credits. Yeah. I don't know. We don't have time. Go, do it. We got a story to tell. <laughs> yeah. I mean essentially, and it's like it was very cool, but at the same time, it's like when I was driving Nikki back to work, I was like, you know what? I hope that doesn't become a trend in anime because I really like the intros mm-hmm. and the outros in anime, even like with all the memes where it's like, you know, the intros all like cutting heads off and the <laughs> outros all like walking in flowers. And yep, shit. yep. Yep. <laughs> But I like that. How different me, emo songs work to every anime <laughs> entry. Right. But to me, that's like part of it. That's like I really like the like the fact that they spend so much money on those intros and outros. And they, and, they work. They get you. I still remember so many from Full Metal, from Naruto. Yeah. Like, and they divided up the seat. Like, well, and there's like shit hidden in them always. Yep. And it's like, so it's like you have a better appreciation of the intro typically by the time you're done with the series because it's like, they give you little like teasers and stuff in those intros. You're yep. like, who's that? What's that? What's that going? And then like by the time you're done with it, it all makes sense. And it, that's why I watch the intro when I'm watching an anime. Like I'm watching the intro and outro every time. 
Like I'm not skipping it. It's yeah. part, Paul watching know. it is part of it. And then when it changes, you know, like what's right, coming what's on. happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Although you said uh, AI singer, I did. Uh, I diversified a little bit because I I've still been when I have more time, you know, I pick up and I play one or two runs of Hades. Yeah, I've, I've spent all everything I could buy with gems. I've bought it all. Uh, I now I'm just trying to get all the diamonds, six more diamonds, and I'll have everything purchased. Did you get the last Skelly statue? I'm work, I tried. I tried that. that last night. I'm trying to find what a per, what a good combination would be for me because. What do you have to do to get that? Thirty two heat. You have to do a run on thirty two heat. Yep. It's a lot of heat. Which the most I've done so far, I think, is like nineteen heat. Oh God, that's a jump. And but my play style is very. It's it's the only game I play like this. I play incredibly fucking ball to the wall aggressive and lean into dodge. So you're so, still doing fists. Yeah. Fi- like fi- I mean I I've I've I think I've cleared like sixteen or seventeen heat with um the sword. Like I'm I'm branching out and I did uh the critical, the sword that has the uh the high criticals is right. very good. Stack Artemis on that and you fucking sure. wreck shit. The Poseidon one. That's the aspect of Zagreus, isn't it? The one with the extra criticals. Um, the, the one. It's the Nemesis that has the critical oh, okay. chance. It's been. It has been essentially since we did an episode on Hades. It's been that long since yeah. I played it. But then the Poseidon one was surprisingly fun to play because that knocks gems out once you throw them. So there are so, lots of interesting builds you can do with that, like to farm gems. Right. Uh. Well. The. I mean. The cast. The. Uh, the cat, your cast plugs the, the in. ammo. Yeah, and then you can you hit them with the, your special, they all fall out. So you get the Artemis exit wounds that causes da- you know damage whenever you extract a, a gem comes out of an enemy. So right. when you can just throw hit, throw hit, throw hit, like you can fucking mow through some shit. Cool. So I had a I did a a high heat run with that. Just first time I ever did it, I was like, oh shit, okay, that's actually pretty fucking good. Cool. <laughs> and, cool. Uh, but I expanded it because I was like. All right, I'm getting a little tired of it. There is this. Oh, this game happens to be on sale. I've always like kept my eye on it, which is uh, Valhalla, a uh, cyberpunk bartending game. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, I, I've I had it like I think I saw it on itch.io or something, and it's like, well, I might buy this and stream it one night, and then I never did. Yeah, it, it's y- fun. Yeah. I like it. I really like it. Um, it's more story deep. It's all than like I thought. dialogue stuff, right? A lot of dialogue yeah. stuff, and then you're making drinks and looking up a bar recipe. And you kind of have to figure out like what they want. The, the sometimes they'll tell you explicitly, "I want a blue fairy," and you know you look up the recipe and make it. Or those don't exist. Give me, <laughs> <laughs> give me something. Uh, you know those are illegal. And you, you know, just quietly you know slide a, a, a bottle across the <laughs> <laughs> the bar. Link picks it up, puts it in his yeah, pocket. Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the rupees under your chair. So it's been it's been interesting so far. Um, I've had a few perfect nights where you kind of guess. They give you like, give me something that's uh, you know manly but bitter, and you have to like look up look it up, try to figure out what they want based on what they've said. So. Cool. Cool. Yep. I may have to check it out because I was interested in it. Are you playing it on Steam? Or? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, I've been one of the characters that there's like an AI race and one is a famous singer. So oh, okay, that, that reminded you, that. yeah, yeah, of uh, of, of Vivi. Uh, so far, that's good. Um, I we've only watched one episode, but yeah, we're gonna stick with it because I mean, it was one of those where it left like it ends on a total cliffhanger, which is like every. It feels like every anime that we have watched since we started watching them have like they all end on cliffhangers. They're like. I feel like the days of, and this isn't old man curmudgeonly talk. I like the way that they do it now, but it's like, it does feel like when I was younger, like when I was a teenager, it felt like there were a lot more episodes were like self-contained kind of deal. And I hate that. But now, I mean, I like, I like it in Cowboy Bebop, you know, like Mm -hmm. I like it when an episode, I like, I guess I hate procedurals that are like that is probably more of what I mean. Like there are a lot of like NBC procedural shows that, are self-contained in one episode, like NBC uh, procedural animes. I would love to see NBC, <laughs> like NBC, do an anime. <laughs> like I love Thirty Rock anime. Let's get it going. Yes, yeah, <laughs> fuck yes, <laughs> yeah. Lemon oh, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been <laughs> Tracy son. 
Let me say bye. Oh, man. Uh, Jack Donaghy. <laughs> Sama. <laughs> But I do like, I do like, I don't know, like, I liked how Cowboy Bebop did it, where it's like each episode's kind of like a self contained thing, but except with the exception of two episodes, but like everything kind of like there's an overarching story that goes That's throughout. what's important to me, yeah. And Samurai Shampoo is kind of like that same way. And yeah. like, and it feels like, but everything from everything recent that I've watched has definitely felt like they just, it's just cliffhanger, 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 which I mean, it's good. That's good storytelling. Keeps us engaged. That's how I try to end every D&D. But it does suck when you're doing like one episode a day. Because it's always like, well, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just think about this for 24 hours. But you you saying Samurai Shampoo did remind me. Uh, I did the latest, latest session of the Percy Jackson game mm. uh, with, with uh, the family. Yeah, because I was I meant to and ask asked, you how that went. I asked you like, do you happen to? Ha- I found my old iP- iPod. Yeah, uh, because trying to like, I don't know. I can't find the stuff I want on YouTube as as easy, and trying to keep it like the TV up. And I was like, I'm just super high about finally I found that old so 140 found- gig iPod <laughs> classic. Found your baby driver iPod. Fuck yeah. yeah. And uh, I was like, there's no. I have no cords. Like six months ago, they sold them at the, do- at the dollar store, but now they're gone. Oh, so, really? I, so I always thought like I need to get one of those just in case. No, I can't fucking find. <laughs> so I looked all over. Then I messaged you. Do you happen to have one of these? And and glory be, you're like, yep, yeah. here we go. Yeah, good old Dave coming through, coming through clutch. <laughs> very with much. the very old iPod cable. <laughs> Love it. You're like, who do I know who has old cables? <laughs> <laughs> Besides me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, man, I got you. I got four cabinets of a file. Like, if I, I when you said that message, I was, I literally thought, if I don't have this cable, my training has been for naught. Because, <laughs> <laughs> but like the, the irony of having four fucking cabinets full of them is just, you can't find them. So it's like, and then this one wasn't even in the filing cabinet. It was in, an, in my dresser. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. Like I, it, it was it good. was so nice. I plugged it in, and then like oh, watch this thing not even work. I mean, I haven't. I couldn't tell you the last time I had it on. Oh yeah. So I plugged <laughs> it in, and then saw that something that green battery come up and start filling up. It's like oh fuck yes. Do you think it was like a Tamagotchi? And it's yeah. like when you plug it in, it's just <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because <laughs> you can't get them damaged and they'll make a frowny face. Yeah. Like my old right. one did that. Yeah. I still have my my first iPod. I still have that in my cabinet. Yeah. Which it works, That's but nice. it, it does, the battery's kaput. You have sure. to keep it plugged in. Yeah. I wonder what's on it. I need to <laughs> see what's on it. But I was pulled up all my, which is unfortunate because when we did the city game, Jacob set me up and I had every district as a playlist. Right. It was like, 80 songs, but whenever Spotify first came out, you could put it on your iPod. I remember like, oh, okay, this sounds cool, and I did that, and it just fucking wipes your iPod. That's all it did. Just fucking wiped it out, so I lost all of that shit. <laughs> what? So it was um, stuff I had since like rebuilt certain playlists and things like that. So I was going through, and like we gamed. I played a lot of Bastion uh, for that. Bastion they, music they is great. Into it. Yeah. I fucking love Darren Corb. And... So I happened to go like, oh, 25 most played songs. Okay, well, I put on that, and man. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah. Of course, <laughs> on here. I mean, that's how long, like, that's been with playing, you know, this, this fucking iPod. So, like, shit that I'd fucking forgotten about. I mean, let's put I a date on it. Love. How long? How long ago was that? I mean, that was like, I mean, we're talking like 15 years ago. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that's like 15 years ago. 20, because I was 21. I don't think it's quite 20, because it was not 2001. Uh, no. Because we... But the, 2000... The City Game was before... It was before culinary school. Yeah. Culinary school was 2006. So, yeah, about 15 years ago-ish yeah. then. Because it, it was still on there. Because, um, of course, I still kept listening to it anytime I want to plan. It's one of my planning songs. Sure. And I mean, I've got it favorited, and yeah, I bet I bet DC was the last time that I'd used that that iPod, or no, I don't know if I use it for the dwarf game or not. Even the dwarf game was a long fucking time ago. It doesn't feel like it, but you're right. Yeah, it was. Um, that's the game where we all played dwarves. Mm-hmm, yep, and I played like two worthless characters. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, being an underdog druid, 
really sucked. What was, <laughs> yeah, you were nerfed yeah, to all really hell sucked. nonsensically. Yeah. I don't understand why. Yeah. Like, there should be a class where. You Underground do druids. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spelunker druid. Some cave druid. I, I homebrewed some stuff to try and make it more interesting, but yeah. it's still like, I understand why. Whenever he died, it was like, yep, nope, done. But your other character was, you were fucking great. The archer. Yeah, but he was a joke character. I mean, he was so like... So was Chili Dog, but hey, it worked. <laughs> but I don't... I mean, I don't know. Come in. I mean, come on. I don't know if Chili Dog is a joke character. <laughs> it originally is like, I'm just, I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to be drunk. Well, yeah, <laughs> but just like, that doesn't necessarily mean a joke character. Okay, I made yeah. the second dwarf out of spite of the first one. <laughs> it was yeah. like, yep, I'm going to just make a character who is not everything that that one wasn't. <laughs> yep. Uh, Which was awesome, especially once uh, once he got his travel armor. They gave you all the travel yeah. abilities. And yeah, like shooting arrows through gateways and yeah, shit. Yeah, surface like, dwarf. Yeah, yeah, the surface hat. I talked about that on the podcast <laughs> yeah. sometime. I'm sure everybody listening is like, mm-hmm, "That was great, yeah. <laughs> very artisanal." I loved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but pulling up like samurai shampoo and bleach. Uh, oh, the soundtracks. Yeah, song samurai that, shampoo soundtracks. Awesome. The the. Um, Theme I used for the pusher was on there that McCluskey uh, without MSG I am nothing that <laughs> yeah yeah you like that shit everybody yeah yeah I still get places <laughs> so- <laughs> oh, your- yeah. okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> all it took were there was rooster sounds I got it <laughs> ah the sriracha song okay got it yeah man. How the game? How did the Percy Jackson game go with the family? Uh, Artsy AJ, it's, you know, she decided it's not her thing, which makes what? me sad. But that does it's suck. okay. She gave it a shot, but uh, the others are really into it. Dog water, yeah, and dog water, dog, dog water, water, no dog more. Not into it. Damn it! So I was like, well, okay, I don't want to force you to do it if you're not feeling right. it. Right. I'm surprised that she's not into. I it. I thought she'd be the yeah. one who's really right. into it. But, yeah. but uh, Anna and Choco Chica, Choco Chica is getting more and more into it. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. So. Because they're kind of, kind of leaning into uh, their abilities. Because they're, they're underground. They're in Jazz Rune, so they're underground, which right. is one of oh. Hades' domains. So, dude, I'm so glad you said Jazz Rune. No one's mentioned anything to me, um, but I fucked up when I was talking about the 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 gnome capital. Remember, I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a connection mm-hmm. there. Um, it's Gnome Ragon. I I said it was Gadget Zan. It's Gnome Ragon, and uh, but still, I do. I do think that they definitely <laughs> took inspiration <laughs> from Jazz and Drew. You're probably right. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> it but, bugged the shit out of me when I realized that I <laughs> fucked that up because it was like, oh, God, here it comes. Like, I'm just waiting for somebody to say something. It's like, really? No one did? No, wow. no one? No one? Wow. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys kind of suck. <laughs> but they, uh, they, they got... Uh, I threw in, you know, some homebrew stuff like uh, a ghost of a, a Norse demigod who was there who kind of helped them find the map and explained to them like because it they, the setup was different for them because they were in the gas station and then fell through into uh, where now instead of kids with uh, that the the soulless or whatever are are taking like in the actual game like. Now there's a, a a slave trade for demigods they've stumbled upon where they're taking demigod children. Huh. But they didn't know that, so I had to... You know it going in to... If you're playing the actual Cauldron mod, you know that going into it. Right. You get, like, the divinations from Jinya and shit yeah. like that, so you know. God, I remember that fight at the end of Jazzadrun with the... With yeah, the, Kazbo yeah. Jin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Oh, so you're keeping them in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm keeping every, everything's, like everything's in. Spike Chain, didn't he? Uh, Dwarven Urgosh. Oh, that's... Oh, God, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> With his howler, the spiked, yeah. that spiked yeah. dog. Yeah, and then, uh, You're right. If you don't know what a dwarven urgosh is, it's like a weaponized moose antler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two ended we- double, yeah, double ended weapon. So, yeah, like, it's like Darth Maul wielding a moose head, essentially, <laughs> is what it is. Because I remember, like, it was cool in, in that setting, you don't know that he's half troll except for through the divination. So, right. he's nearly impossible <laughs> until you hit him with fire yeah. or acid. Yeah. I don't remember how we figured it out, but probably the guy in our group who's cheating. So <laughs> <laughs> you're probably right. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll throw this alchemist fire that we found. 
<laughs> you're not gonna use Bane and hit him like you have everything else? No, I'm gonna throw my out. This hurts fire trolls, this time. right? <laughs> <laughs> Because I think we, the first time I played through it was the first time Josh played through it. And we did, we happened to find an alchemist fire and we were like all incredibly hurt and trying to stay away from him. And then somebody was just like, fuck it, what does this thing do? All right, I'm going to throw that at him. And then we threw the fire and he fucking freaked out. <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's it. Because <laughs> he has a helmet on so you can't see his face to figure out he's half troll. Yeah, or, yeah, not yeah. that I would have known what the fuck that was back then. Right. But. Yeah, you wouldn't have known Carrot Nose is a is a definite like oh that's a troll. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a descriptor of a troll. <laughs> so like the a, a ghost of a, a dead Norse demigod there like says you know I can't leave this room but I've stayed here this whole time until I could tell somebody here's what's going on what I've seen please help them and then he disappears and they have a map so. So now they have a reason for trying to be there. Like, Melissa's character is like the really good one who's like, okay, we have to, have to help these kids. Right. Chaco Chica's like, I don't care. I want to leave. <laughs> right. Yeah. And Anna's character is just like, yeah. Although, I mean, if they're messed up, we'll probably have to kill the kids, though. But we should definitely help them, even if that's killing them on our way out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> A little Sean Miller action going. In. All right, okay. My favorite Sean Miller D and D moment is still from the city game because he and I were both playing changelings, <laughs> which can make themselves look like other people. Yep. Where we had defeated that guy, uh, and we're essentially torturing him. Uh -huh. I can't remember what for. Uh, maybe just for fun. I don't know. And Miller, <laughs> Miller, Miller's character shape shifted into that guy. And said, I seem to have lost my face. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> <laughs> that was the oh, best. Oh, that was man. good. That was good. That was the best. Well, yeah, both of you made your faces disappear while you were <laughs> right, looking at him. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a period of time where I played D&D &D, like just to play dicks. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's a man. This is a podcast for no one but you and me. That's I'm so okay. sorry. I'm okay. so sorry, listener. But in uh, the um, God damn it, the prom the promised Neverland, there are two young characters that are like, it's fucking Clive and Finnegan. Like I mean, it is. They're like always wow. together, and they're like you're always Jacob's duo characters from my ACV, which is was my Harry Potter, my dark Harry Potter game. Right, which is from a super long time ago. <laughs> yeah. ACV 1 was college, yeah. so that definitely super, was yeah, super 20 long years time ago. ago. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, there are two characters in it where it's like, yeah, that's fucking, that's, that's Finnegan and Clive right there. Nice. Like, they got that energy, you know, where it's like, there's like a situation where they like catch these mud fish, and they're like, Who's going to eat these mudfish? And they're like, we'll eat the mudfish. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, fuck give to us. So they're sitting down like side by side next to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about to try the mudfish. Yeah. Uh, in, the, in the ACV game, because there was that, we had worked it out where there was a sort of a time bubble to where um, <laughs> your Finnegan got exchanged with an alternate an alternate Finnegan that was a paladin that had his right, horn shaved right. down and shit. Yeah, yeah, Hellboy style. Who yeah. just like popped popped up in the party and was like, okay, I recognize you guys. Let's go. Fake again. Fake again. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and Clive, like, what the fuck is going what what the fuck is wrong with you? And then whenever you were we were fighting something and Fake again was like, All right, I'm gonna smite evil. Clive <laughs> throws the fuck up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was that game was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. Well, sorry for the last. I've done. Th I've done three everybody. of them. I've done three of them so far. <laughs> I've, I've, I've only. Gotta, I've we, only finished the first one. We got to pivot. Okay. We got to pivot. I'm really enjoying this, but. But I've, I mean, maybe like six people who have <laughs> listened to the show enough, they know what's going on. <laughs> I don't even know if it's six people. I think it's essentially just the people who played D and D with us, and mm -hmm. they're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you hear that, Dave? I do hear that. Uh, it sounds like um, the 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 vomiting of many a friend <laughs> who has been 
uh, realize that their other that their friend has been replaced by a pod person, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, which of course ushers in a segment uh, that we like to call uh, Dave reads from Wikipedia, which I honestly don't really even have pulled up because um, we kind of been doing that off and on. I can tell you that this game was developed in 1993, uh, came out for the Super Nintendo. Uh, it was developed by Factor Five, and which is a German developer. And uh, it is, I think, the sixth game in the Turrican series, if oh, you can believe shit. that. Wow. Yeah. The Turrican series started, I think, in like 1989 or 88, um, like on the, I think it was on the Amiga. Again, this is not Wiki- this is not reading for Wikipedia. This is all just fucking Dave sides from memory. From but let's not get let's not get crazy from six hours ago. You know what I mean? Not- <laughs> Dave regurgitates passive information. <laughs> right. That's will be forever erased the moment this is done. I mean, yeah. Um. So yeah, this like so there is this game is called Super Turrican. It had an NES version, which only came out in Europe. Um, which is the NES, so I watched some gameplay of the NES version, and it is um, not the same game as the Super NES version that we're going to talk about today. There's no way it could be. It took, the NES version kind of took the original two, which again, I think were Amiga games, and kind of smashed those together. Uh, This is Super Turrican 1 for the Super Nintendo is like its own beast. Uh, And it is a, it's a side-scrolling shooter, essentially, that takes a lot of elements from like Contra and Metroid mm-hmm. and kind of mashes that together. And uh, you're probably thinking that's probably a shitload of fun. That's probably like as fun as Contra or Metroid. Uh, I do think it is more fun than Metroid, but you also know how I feel about Metroid. Mm, yeah. So take that with a grain of salt. But um, that's it's, it. It's like, I get, it sort of reminds me it's. Because it's, it's, it's a, a true like running gun sort of style. With some contra tropes, yeah, um, but it's like the running like gun, me- like Metal Slug, ish. Sure, yeah, but Metal Slug is so like, I feel like Metal Slug is so style driven mm-hmm. because like when I think of Metal Slug, what I think about is like how everything is drawn yeah. and how like everything has a certain like cartoonish look to it, which is it's it's like Beetle Bailey, Dark Beetle Bailey, <laughs> the video game <laughs> yeah. kind of deal. Um, and I don't think that Super Turrican really has like a very strong like graphical style. It doesn't. No, it's very like, oh, all right, Space Marines and shit. All right, well, we have Space Marines. You know, we, that means we also have to have fucking sub, Xenomorphs. Something akin to Xenomorphs. Not even akin. Like, just <laughs> straight up, like, how did you not get. Sued yeah. into oblivion yep. by what twentieth century five? Because one of the one of the bosses, yeah, giant xenomorph face, <laughs> and like there are like face huggers. I mean, they come out of the face hugger egg sac and they jump on your face and wrap their tails around you. Like they're face huggers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how they did it. Like seriously, and it's like. Um, like that whole like last level is very Geiger esque. Like it's got like it's very <laughs> phallic and like v- oh, everything yeah. looks like it's made out of a xenomorph. It's a weird departure. Like you've got, <sighs> which I mean Contra does too, but it's not yeah, as like right. on the nose for like yep, this is from the Alien franchise. You know, this it... is very much like <laughs> what? Yeah, and the music I don't feel like is appropriate to like hardly any of the levels really? it feels very strange to me I love very it. strange i love the music the I, music's not bad like but i it just i didn't feel like it. it was for both one and two because i went back and you know played some two watched, I did, watched I some playthroughs well. and i just yeah. feel like some of the more upbeat it was like upbeat flute music in some levels it's yeah. just like oh well, anchor man <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's like hit me with some jazz flute while right. i blow up these robot uh, horse flies. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know. I think I'd rather. I don't know. I f- I felt like it worked because all of it kind of had this like I don't know, techno kind of vibe to it. Not like Streets of Rage, like house mm. music. Yeah, style. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but which I also love. But man, I I honestly I thought the music in this game was like its defining feature, um, and it's like the same composer for uh, who did all the Super Turrican games. He also did. Um, like the Rogue Squadron games mm-hmm. on GameCube, um, what I guess the stuff that wasn't John Williams or whatever. Yeah, 
I th- I thought it was really really good, and I think that I think that Super Turrican one, like I think the music in Super Turrican one is way better than Super Turrican two. I, to the point, I was surprised it was the same composer, uh, and it might just be the way they handled the I don't know the the instrumentation or whatever on the on the Super Nintendo mm. games, but like. I, I thought the music was really, really, really good. I honestly do think that it's like the best thing about the game. And like, I would listen to the soundtrack. Like, it's one of those where it's like, yeah, I'd pull that up in YouTube and like listen to the soundtrack while I'm working on something. Mm, okay. I, I thought they were. I thought it was that good. Even though there is one track in it that is like an obvious ripoff of "Surrender" by Cheap Trick. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but nope. it's like. The mommy's all right. Daddy's oh, all right. Okay. It's like that. Yeah, but it's yeah. like I don't even know those are the lyrics, but you got it. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. But like it's that song. Like I mean, <laughs> with like it's like the, a section of it is very much like every time I heard it on the loop, I was like, oh god, surrender. <laughs> Which I, I like that song, but it was just weird to. It's weird to see that, and then like I mean, you can kind of hand wave it and be like, oh okay, whatever. I'm sure you know maybe took inspiration from it, but then like. Compounded with the the xenomorph level, where it's like, holy shit! Like, yeah, they're just like, we'll, we'll just take whatever we want. <laughs> it's like what that Vanilla Ice video when he's talking. No, 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 no their song, you know, and our song is na 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 na. It's that you know, it's got that at the end. It's different, <laughs> totally different. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's crooked slightly so. <laughs> But this, because it's Contra style, in which you you know the the Space Marine holds the gun at waist level and points it nowhere else than directly in front of him, and you you manipulate your choice of spread to kind of hit enemies that aren't you know vertically and horizontally in front of you. Right, but I don't think that's. Re- I mean, that's not really Contra style to me, because like you can shoot in multiple directions in Contra, but so it's like to me, it's like a regression of that because it's like, and I don't know if this is them just trying to stay true to like the Amiga roots uh, or whatever, yeah, yeah. but it's like you can only shoot left and right. You can only shoot in the direction that you are facing in this game. That's what I You can't shoot up, like can't shoot it. diagonally, you can crouch and shoot four pixels lower, essentially, but yeah. it's like, who, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't really do much of anything. Yeah. If I'm If I'm playing like a run in a heavy running gun. I want something like Gunstar Heroes. That is my that is my baseline for be like fuck yes. And this does not hit anywhere close to Gunstar Heroes. That being said, it's not a bad game. I don't feel it's better sure. than a mediocre game. Like it's a good game. I think it. I honestly, I think it's a good game. Yeah. And like, and it's. I was very surprised that it was a good game because I notoriously didn't like Super Turrican 2. Mm-hmm. And when I replayed it... It's that fucking grappling hook. It's the grappling Super hook. It fucking sucks. Yep. And it's like, it's like they took... They're like, okay, we kind of got like a Metroid Contra mashup going. Let's throw in uh, I don't Bionic Commando as well. As well. What else can we fucking pull in this And thing? I fucking hated Bionic Commando when I tried yeah. playing it. I fucking could not stand it. The grappling so. hook fucking sucks so bad because it slows everything down. Yep. Like in Super Turrican 1, I do feel like you can just kind of like... You can barrel through shit yeah. and just get to the end. And you can turn into that ball, Samus style. That's where yep. the Metroid kind of comes yep. in. It's like you can turn into a ball. Um, and then while you're a ball, you can roll around. You're invincible. You can drop bombs. So, I mean, it's you're essentially Samus. Yeah. Um, except you're invincible. Um, and you can use it to get up to higher places. And I do think it's interesting that there are hidden platforms in the game that you have to shoot in order to make them appear. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's cool. Like, that's a thing that, like, I guess Contra didn't do, you know? Like, and it doesn't do the thing in, that I don't like about a lot of, like, Contra, where it's like, okay, you do a side scrolling shooting stage, and then we're going to throw, like, a over the shoulder stage in there. They don't do that, which is, which, which is two, nice. Two does. Two, because you'll oh, go from that, that to the, uh, third person, like, bike levels and shit. Oh, right, right. And, or, yeah. you're, or you're on the big, like, Mass Effect style moon rover where right. you're jumping up and down and shit. Like, I could see where they tried to mix it up very differently for Super Turrican 2. Yeah, but, but I, I'm, totally. I'm with you that I think Turrican is a better game than Turrican 2. But not being able to shoot in multiple directions. And, huge. and look, I know it's 1993, right? If we're only two years into the Super Nintendo's lifespan, but. Contra existed at that point, (laughs) you know? It's like, I do feel, and I get it, like, from a game design standpoint, they're probably like, 
Well, you don't shoot diagonally, and it's not Turrican unless you're shooting just in one direction. Yeah. I can respect that, but at the same time, it's like, come on, man. Like You gotta, you gotta have growth times, man. And they did not. And then that's why Super Turrican 2 was the last game in the series. Mm. Except for re-releases. They re-released the first two on Switch, I think. Yeah. One thing, I do think I like the boss battles in two more than I like them in one. But that's the only thing that I can say I like better. <laughs> you about didn't like the one. giant head in Super Turrican, like that just keeps getting big as you shoot and it. Turning, it's bigger, tur- bigger, turning bigger. in circles. Yeah. Right. It reminded me of there's a fight in Castlevania 4 that is like that, to where it's just a head that just grows inside and turns into like, oh, it's it's a mode seven head. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. But yeah, that's as that's as far as I got. So I know there's the what three more levels after that? The snow, the snow levels after that. And then there's a more techno acid level, like acid factory than the xenomorph right. level. Yeah, we make acid here in the acid factory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh something I never realized until today. I was this many years old whenever are you about I to blow realized, my mind about an acid factory. Well, Final Fantasy Six. Okay. Devil's Lab. Kafka poisons the water. Right, of Doma. Of Doma. They don't die from drinking the water. They die from the poisonous fumes that come up off the water. That is why Cyan and his his attendant there are at the top of Doma, uh, so they don't so die. They don't die. They're, above They're above the fumes. The fumes. So everyone why below aren't they like, them dies. Hey, everybody, get up here! Yep, that's what, because I never, I was like, man, everyone drink the water but them. Now I know why Cyan was so emo. He's like, why didn't I just shout for everybody to get up here? <laughs> come on, come Fuck. on. Some of you get my kids. God, so I, don't go up fuck, here. I fucked it up. Oh, the king. He's just down there chilling <laughs> at, at ground level. Fuck. Damn it. So yeah, had no no clue. No, I always I, thought. No, I. So what? What? Side is to drink water. He's like, <laughs> right. Yeah, he's Gatorade water, only. Yeah, water sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friend here, I got him on board. No water. <laughs> Did you know that in the Final Fantasy VI movie, he's played got Cyan is played by Henry Winkler. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I roll with I that. fucking sign right up for that. <laughs> but it's Henry Winkler playing the Fonz as Cyan. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. It's like the Fonz when he speaks in Old English. <laughs> <laughs> Man, mm. I just want to see Cyan, Cyan played by Henry Winkler and uh, Gal played by Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, let's let's cast fun. Let's stop everything right now and cast Final Fantasy VI again for no, more likely the twelfth time in our lives. Yep. <laughs> and but the- with the resident <laughs> development characters. <laughs> All right, so who's Super Dave Osborne? Uh, Umaro? <laughs> I feel like I feel like he's got to be Edgar, right? You think so? What? Oh, or does or is Edgar um, George Senior? <laughs> 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 they, there, there are twins. So Dude, Edgar, Edgar and Saban are George Senior and his brother. Jeffrey Tambor <laughs> has to be. F- no, he's Ultros. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to be honest, that makes the most sense. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. So Sitzer is is Job? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you're even more beautiful than Maria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, that means... Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> is, uh, Locke is... <laughs> Is uh, Locke is um, <laughs> fuck it, David Cross, um, uh, Tobias, Tobias. <laughs> I'm a treasure hunter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Egg is one of the ghosts in the Phantom Trade. <laughs> <laughs> why is this? Why is this ghost? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's no Mog? the ghost? The ghost likes. You know, it eats an egg, puts mayonnaise <laughs> in its mouth, calls it a, a mayon egg. <laughs> Who is Shadow? Who's Mog? Yeah, who's or Shadow? Mog? Who's Mog? I think Shadow is Shadow the guy who always has his arm lopped off. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's why you always leave a note, guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
And that's why I leave the party. Stefan <laughs> reappears. Oh, who would be the best Mog? That's why you always wait till one second. You always wait. <laughs> <laughs> you always wait for Shadow. God, who would be a good Mog? I mean, is is, is maybe is maybe Mog? I don't. May p- perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mog might be too wholesome for Arrested Development. Yeah. Because then you got like, what are you gonna do with Realm? On Young. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty fucking good, right there. That's pretty fucking good. So, oh wait, so okay, so Mog's Lucille, the other Lucille, Buster's Lucille, Buster's Lucille, <laughs> yeah, Lucille too, Lucille too, right? So that, well, that doesn't make sense because then I guess Buster would be Umaro, and that doesn't make because <laughs> Mog and Umaro kind of go together. I'm a monster. <laughs> Can we get an Arrested Development ROM hack, please, of Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> I'd play that, randomized. Uh, we could just get the sprites in there, probably. True. I mean, uh, that Ryu car, he, uh, he played a version that a fan made that has him and his girlfriend and his cat in it. Oh, fuck, then we could get, we could get <laughs> we could arrest, do we could do an Arrested we could do Development that. thing. I could do sprites for the cast. <laughs> they probably already exist, honestly. Someone's probably already done 16-bit sprites. You probably just got to import them. We just have to make you know their pixel art yeah, for their character profile. I'm sure it is that easy. Well, because the one that he made, like the guy who made it, put himself in there. So his portrait was sprite art, and his go go was instead 16 bit um, cloud. Hadley Stevenson. <laughs> Adley Stevenson. <laughs> That's what I really want. I do want to do a ROM hack where Gogo is Adlai Adlai. Stevenson. It's just his face. It's just a big pixelated face of Adlai Stevenson. Even on even on the world map. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. In the battles, everything. It's just a black and white. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> it's like like a Conan when they would do like the mouth thing. You know, they do like the green screen magic with the mouth. It's like yeah. that. Shit. Who would Gogo be? Gogo would honestly kind of have to be Super Dave Osborne because he's surrogate. He's the right? fake one. Yeah, right. he's yeah. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. And doesn't really say. And you know, like yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, and then with the whole yeah, with the whole Ultras thing with no touching even. Like I mean, that all like <laughs> that all like, it all it all works. <laughs> no touching. No touching. Shit. Well, we're done. I think, yep, we, we're I done. think we solved it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, so Super Turk, I remember the boss fight. The first one is like a Terminator hand who just kind of floats and, and stomps. Um, yeah. Pretty pretty lackluster. I don't think any of the bosses are very memorable. Because I even forgot really, about that except giant the face. fist until... Yeah. Yeah, the face I remember just, just because it's weird. It, it is weird. It gets bigger as you shoot it, and it's also a very easy fight yeah. because it like just floats from right to left, and then like shoots a spray of bullets and then repeats it, yep. and it's like all you have to do. Is all like, all the bosses are are, are a let down. Um, some of the levels I had the the level design is a little strange in that that um, the turtles for DOS. Where there's that um that lo- that ledge, the impossible jump, the impossible jump, like then I got where, to as a child, yeah. yeah, where you feel like you can make it, but you just barely hit it. Like I did that with so many jumps, yeah. so many times. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. ledges and your jumping ability is just kind of clunky in this game. Yeah, I think honestly, it's 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 less that it's clunky and it's just that they require you to do perfect. Like really, like honestly, like super perfect jumps, yeah. especially on that ice stage because it's like. They'll have these slopes that slope downward, and then there will be a gap that is like the perfect, the maximum distance that you can jump kind of deal. Yeah. And it's like you have to land on the other side, which is also a slope down. And it's like, Jesus Christ, man. Because what the, uh, that reminded the wind effects we were talking about earlier. Like in the first right. level where there are waterfalls that looks like you can just walk behind them. No, those are gaps going yeah. all the way down. Have you played Sonic 2 where <sighs> there's waterfalls and you can just walk behind them? That's not this game, because nope. you will definitely <laughs> fall to your death. They're bits. They're and then bits, when, bro. And then when you realize it and go back next time try to jump, up, oh, wind's going to get you. Now you're dead again. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, dude. If, Welcome like, to Turrican, yeah, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, seriously, I died. Like That is how I died the first four times, like within two minutes of starting this game up. I guess we should also go over, you'd sit me the... the Oh, the story of the, the game. The story, yeah. which... <laughs> 
<laughs> Star date 2751-11. Not sure what the dash means. Planet. Well, it rolled over. Oh, okay. yeah. I think, I think <laughs> yeah. that's how it works. Once the, it rolls over, you start adding hyphens. Yeah, and, dashes, and they yeah. go through how many times. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Planet Catricus. Cat, Cat Chris. Katniss. Katniss. <laughs> Class mostly harmless. <laughs> mostly har- that's a mostly harmless planet. Yeah. As they tend to be. Lonesome. The Rurlo, Rurlo One, glides through the outer reaches of the galaxy. And so then the planet appears, and then with Dollar Store Galactus forming around it, and I truly mean Dollar Store Galactus. Yeah, no, it is like a well, obvious plant Galactus toy. It does. Essentially. Oh my like, god, it does. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's yeah. like Shredder Galactus from uh-huh. Obvious Plant. Uh-huh. Suddenly, with a flash <laughs> of destruction, the evil forces of the machine conquer Catrakis. Brutally, they freeze the people of this peaceful world in eternal enslavement. So you're frozen in enslavement. Justice! They're... What the fuck? It's hard to read, isn't it? It's so hard to read. Here's what it looks like. The cry of a billion souls flirts through space <laughs> because the fucking A's and R's in this font are identical it and it, it drives like me flirt. crazy. Justice, the cry of a bill through space. <laughs> I fucking hate it. It's so... It, I, I counted the pixels. I did a Peter Parker, <laughs> Spider-Man 2 uh, style, and I counted the pixels. There are four pixel difference between the R's and the A's. That's fucking dumb <laughs> That's not enough. Shit. That's not enough. <laughs> wow. Finally reaches the Avalon 1. Approaching Catrakis, the brave freedom fighters of the USS Freedom Forces. That's a lot of fighting and freedom and forces in there. (laughs) Brave fighters of the freedom forces. Slip into their Turrican assault suits, ready to risk their lives for the innocent. And then it's... uh, uh, A... Looks like a man who is melted with a jet engine. Right, and that's us. That's us and our Turrican, uh, which is really super ugly. It's um, oh, it's so bad. It's it is something I would have drawn in the second grade, thinking that was badass. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's be honest. In 1993, I probably would have thought that was badass. No, and my so. cheeks are metal, and my nose is also metal, and my teeth are metal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It does kind of look like the hunchback in Notre Dame, like got the phalanx virus or whatever. You give me the, uh, he, he's the next cyborg. Is the hunchback in Notre Dame? <laughs> yeah, the DC, like yeah. yeah, the DC character. Totally, <laughs> absolutely. That is what this is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a really great intro, honestly. No. Florts, not a big fan of Florts. Um, <laughs> Four pixels different. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, it is like, this is a graphic design fucking, you've committed a cardinal sin, and that I cannot tell what A's and R's, I can't tell the difference between the fucking two. Uh, there's also a bad glitch in the game that I experienced. Um, if you're playing the game on a one-chip Super Nintendo, which is... Um, which is a Super Nintendo that has a, a one ch- one chip video processor on it. It uses one chip to process the video. Usually outputs much better video quality that way. Cleaner mm-hmm. signal instead of doing two because there's less noise between the chips, you know? You don't have that noise anymore. So it's like if you have a one chip, uh, the game, well, the sound will stop. Or the sound will hook on like one sound and just repeat it. Ugh. And then eventually, I didn't get to this point, but if you keep playing it that way, the game will eventually lock up. I'm, assen- uh, I'm assuming because it's like you get a buffer, but like the buffer's like, oh, wow. okay. oh, we don't know what to do. I don't know how that works, but yeah. That's pretty fucking bad. It is that bad. That's pretty fucking bad. It yeah. is bad, but, but in the game's defense, uh, I do not think there were any one chip SNES. Like motherboards in production in 1993, but I mean, you do look at all the other games that do not have that problem. Uh, so I don't know. I just wanted to throw it out. Knocks it down a little bit. I had to switch Super Nintendos because the SNES Junior is a one chip. That's why I bought it. Mm. But I still had the old childhood. I dusted the old childhood yeah. uh, clunker uh, and hooked it up, and everything was fine. Um, 
So yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Uh, it's uh, the game has Dolby surround, mm-hmm. which is kind of interesting for a game this old. Um, that was a, a rare thing. Yeah, it's it was it's very it's uh, illustrated on the the title screen of the game. Yes. Oh, and speaking of illustrated on things, uh, have you seen the box for Super Turrican? Mm-mm. So it's got the art of the um, cyborg hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh-huh. Uh, Dom, sorry, shooting his uh, hand cannon up yeah. at the top. Which, by the way, it's as we Mega covered. Buster. Yeah, you cannot. You can't fire up. So already false advertising. And he, has, <laughs> and he holds a gun. He doesn't fire up. <laughs> yeah, he is absolutely holding, holding what looks yeah, like yeah, 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 like a fucking super soaker or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. So so missing number on two parts immediately. <laughs> also on the front of the box, and I do love this so much. Four fun factors from Game Pro. Boom, 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 boom <laughs> on on the front, and it's like shit. yeah. Just right on the front of the box, which totally makes me think they weren't paid or anything. Oh, that. no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know. You just release the game, get your review, and then go back and, oh, let's reprint some new yeah, labels. Yeah, be fine. Yeah. So it was kind of one of those where it's like, that's interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, and yes, Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn confirmed that the review was done by Scary Larry. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> So that's like that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I do think it's a good game. I really do. I, I it in I, I've gotten into this before where it's like, is this a good game or do I just like it because it's like the diamond in the rough kind of deal? Yeah. Like we've waded through a whole bunch of shit, so this is like hunger oh. is the best spy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, exactly. I don't necessarily think that's what's going on. I, I, I agree with you. I think this is a. I mean. It's a it's a good game. It's better than average. It's not mediocre shit no one's going to care about. Like this game is fun, has a lot of good points, has a lot of bad points, but I still think overall it's a good game. What do you think of the sprite size in this game? The real question. Uh, I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Cuz to me it feels like it kind of feels like a and I don't mean this in a bad way. I mean this in the best possible way. It feels like a gussied up NES game as far as like speed goes because yeah. it's I mean it's snappy like I mean like I do think the controls are 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 nice and snappy I think it goes at a quick pace and I do like that like when you turn into the Samus ball you're really fast mm-hmm. so I mean I do I think that's really nice and that is refreshing because you know we have played a lot of platformers recently that are like slow plodding oh, and, as right, fuck. Right. and so this makes it feel I mean this felt really this fe- yeah. felt really good um, you mentioned the power ups where it's like you can yeah, you have three like, or four different shots right, and extra lives. And there's like a bounce ball that you can shoot out, and those you unlock those platforms that also will give you weapons. You have to hit them, but don't destroy them because you might need to jump on them. Right, but then you've also got the problem uh, where it's like you will definitely pick up a different weapon than you intend to. And won't be nearly as effective. It won't be as good. Given what right. you have to do, right. and you're like then, fuck, I just upgraded my spread shot to maximum, and now I've got the fucking bouncy ball gun. Yep, and it fucking sucks. It sucks unless, like, if you shoot shit it, takes so many hits. But if you shoot it in a corridor, it's really nice because those shots bounce, mm-hmm. and it's just like brrr. speed runs that I watch. They all used uh, lightning for the most for mm. the most part. Dude, is that the one that freezes the enemies? I think so. Or is that the different? Because like there, you have two abilities beyond the the Samus Ball that we need to talk about, and I forgot to mention because I fucking forgot they existed until I died on like the last stage, which I definitely use level skip codes. There's like a level skip mm. code that you can use, or a beat the game code. We found out right, <laughs> which is identical to the level skip code, except instead of pressing A at the end, you press B. Yeah, this is what you want, you fuckers. <laughs> right. There you go. Yeah. You skipped it all. Gotcha. Good job. <laughs> Got your money. <laughs> uh, but there is, um, so there's a like a freeze gun that you've got mm-hmm. that this is multi-directional. So it's like you you fire it. Is it ice? No, it freezes time. It's a freeze gun. <laughs> <laughs> it uh so this when you fire it like shoots out like a beam of electricity and as long as you've got the button held down it stays out right mm-hmm. and then you can rotate the d-pad and as you do it it like rotates the the beam around and then like if an enemy gets hit with it they 
they're in stasis. They they freeze, mm -hmm. so they're easier to hit and easier to kill. I totally forgot this thing existed, and it would have made my life a lot easier in that later level with all the face huggers and shit. Oh, because yeah, it's yeah. like they're so hard to hit. Because like we mentioned earlier, you can shoot left and right, and they're small. And it's yep. like, so you can't fire down you at the... You just have to hope you, you have just, spread and stand far enough <laughs> right. back. Yep. Exactly. But if I remembered I had that freeze gun, then it would have been much, much easier. You've also got like a screen clear, um, but those are limited. I think you get like, I don't know, two or three, uh, yep. which will just clear. You use it. It's a bomb, and it like <laughs> clears everything yep. off the screen. So if I would remembered I had those, that would have been nice too. Uh, well, do you have any achievements? Uh, I do. I have a few achievements that uh, came in from Twitch chat. Uh, the first one I've got, and this one, um, this one is for you, because I didn't get it, but I was like, I'm also not like a wrestling guy, so I was like, let's see. This this one's essentially oh, like okay. a let's see if okay. Tyler gets this reference, and mm -hmm. then maybe can explain it to me. Um, Super Turrican Rana. In order to unlock Super Turrican Rana, yeah. you got it? Yep. Okay, good. Yep. Defeat an enemy with a risky, daring aerial maneuver. Uh, and that came in from P. Willie Eaton. A Hurricane Rana is what it's referencing. And it's a move where they will jump off and land. It's very impressive to look at. A Hurricane Rana looks badass. Okay. Uh, I don't know that it could ever actually be practical in anything ever. But it's where you jump it's off style points. onto them where you jump off like the top the turnbuckle onto their shoulders the and turnbuckle you, the corner yeah okay and uh you now, would is that basically the post the post okay. yes that's the turnbuckle turnbuckle and you jump off onto their shoulders and basically keep your momentum and use your legs to swing them down to the ground you swing around them and take them down with your legs with your legs so you wrap your legs around their neck and pull them down, yep. kind of deal. Yep. In, in a in a rotation motion. Wow, how do you do that? It, it, <laughs> it looks Hurricane look impressive as hell. Can you do one? A good, yeah. <laughs> you want to do a couple? Fuck <laughs> yeah! I tell Melissa, why don't you jump off and give me do a do a pussy come on come run? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got it in one. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Oh Jesus Christ, you, yeah, that explains all the turnbuckles you guys have in your room. <laughs> oh, yep, all over the place. <laughs> Can't go through your room without tripping over. Now I got her a luchador mask. So she <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, good. Leva can do one. Who? Leva. Leva can do one. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's impressive. Next achievement I've got is we're all right. In order to unlock, we're all right. Sing cheap trick along to the level that rips off surrender. Uh, <laughs> and that came in from Guitar Man Dalton of the Steam Machine podcast. Uh, the next achievement I've got is uh, low score record. In order to unlock low score record, accidentally enter the beat the game code when you try to skip a level and beat the game with a score <laughs> of zero. Uh, and that came in from Just a Punk, a.k.a. Chris Murray. Thanks, guys. Do you have any achievements, Tyler? Uh, I've got one. Um, it's best used for cleaning under the stove. Yeah! And that, <laughs> and that is turn into the Samus ball and uh, get under something really well. Yeah. And, and super jerky. Nice. That's old uh, Fish Lips J <laughs> yeah, callback, isn't it? Uh, I think so. I think so. that's who said that. Yeah, I might, yeah, that's been a long, that's been a, a long minute. time. Tyler. Yes, Dave. I have some questions for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, how much do you think Super Turrican is loose? If you were to buy it, how much do you think you'd pay for it on I average? I mean, I know how much Super Turrican 2 was worth. It's qu quite a bit. So imagine it's not that much. Um, as much as that, but still probably not super common. I mean, I'm going to say like $50. Tyler, actual retail value of Super Turrican for the Super Nintendo loose on average at the time of this recording, according to PriceCharting.com, is $51.97. Oh, You're shit. within $2. All right. All right. Uh, do you think that it is worth it? No. Man, I kind of do. I, I mean, kind of do. I honestly kind of do. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'd pay $20 for this. Oh, 20 would be a fucking yeah. delight. But, like, yes, I mean, 
but that's also me as someone who's collecting mm-hmm. like you know 51 like this i was surprised when i saw 52 dollars. when i saw 52 dollars, it was like oh maybe i should buy this right now because i can't get a fucking copy of turtles in time for under 75 bucks you know which granted this is no turtles in time <laughs> but still just seeing everything like i remember like i remember looking at turtles in time when it was 45 dollars and it's like now I can't even get it for seventy five, uh, and now it's kind of I don't even know technically right the fuck now how much it is. But it, last time I looked, it's like ninety bucks, and it's like damn, God, I really want this game, but uh, I hope it comes down in the future because I don't ninety dollars want this <laughs> game. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, fifty one ninety seven. Tyler, do uh, you think that this game belongs on Tadpog's top 100? No, I don't. I'd put it on the top. At this juncture, top 200. I think it does belong in the top 100. Yeah, in place of Turrican 2? Yes. Yeah. I do. I honestly do think that this is a better game than Turrican no, 2. No, no, I agree with you on that point. Um, and I mean, the fact that Turrican 2 is... I mean, granted, in the 90s on IGN's list, I would be happy to just do a swap out, you know, and just put Turrican 1 in Turrican 2's place. Yeah. I don't think Turrick, I don't think Super Turrican belongs anywhere outside of the night. You know, like, I think it's like, you're, you're bottom rung, but I, but I, my personal list, yeah, I'd put it in the top 100. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know what Flopsy has to say? Yes, please. Three and a half stars is what I bet. Three and a half stars is what you think? Yep. What do you think they gave Super Turrican 2? Four stars. Four stars. Okay. Uh, according They're wrong, but I bet they gave it four stars. Okay. Uh, according to the Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the SNES Library, 1991 through 1998, by Pat Contry, courtesy of Monster Mold Mike, Super Turrican got four stars. Uh, this is an uncommon game, uh, and it's let's see, reflections from AP says. Let's see. That a mid-level finally a- a- achieved retail availability. Weird that the whole section starts off like <laughs> like I read the rest of it or something. Um, yeah, I guess that's another thing I didn't mention is that some of the levels were cut from the game and and wound up in a, a re-release of Super Turrican 2 later. Um, yeah, and then they talk about the Xenomorph ripoffs and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not going to read it because, honestly, out of context from the rest of the article, it makes no goddamn sense. (laughs) Uh, Super Turrican 2, availability rare, Mm -hmm. which I guess would account for the price jump between one and two, uh, four and a half stars. A damn near perfect game. Yeah. (laughs) Disagree. Yeah, I disagree, too. I honestly think Super Turrican is a better game. Yep, I'm with you 100% on that. Tyler? Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a beard that sums up how you feel about it, what kind of beard would it be? I would give it the uh, the cop stash of 80s style Big Boss Man from WWF. Oh, tell me about Big Boss Man. Uh, he's a, he's a he's a big big fat cop. Is he like uh, <laughs> what's his name Eddie from Final Fight? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he is. <laughs> like, do you think that might have been the inspiration for that character? Quite possibly. Okay, interesting. Uh, I know he was like, he's in a lot of the WWF games, and then he yeah. was a... Is he a leather daddy? He was a good heel in the Attitude Era, where he was all in black, like Vincent Mann's enforcer. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As if he needs an enforcer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's a he's a um, but he's eighty eighty style stripper cop costume mm. big boss man a stripper cop banana hammock officer <laughs> banana hammock <laughs> on duty <laughs> Danny DeVito in a cop costume stripping for the f- cast of Friends now we're talking now we're, now we're talking uh, Tyler if you had to give this game a pair of glasses it sums up how you feel about it uh, what kind of glasses would you give the it? big reflective cop glasses of Big Boss Man in the 1980s WWF okay now it's weird that I didn't ask the first time mm-hmm. but I will ask the second time mm-hmm. why Big Boss Man cause uh, he, he's not he's not great but he's identifiable and good enough so the re- the fact that he's a wrestler is just like completely disconnected from anything. Right? No, okay. just, we just talked about wrestling. Okay, put okay. It in my so head. it's in your mind. Okay, yeah. I got yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, okay. 
I just wanted to make sure, because I'm not familiar with this person. I didn't know if maybe he rolls. We'll, we'll be get to the game where it's like Big Boss Man, Doink the Clown, and The Undertaker. <laughs> so. so he doesn't at any point turn into a ball and roll around the turnbuckles? He might. <laughs> I mean, if The Undertaker could throw ghosts in that one game, we'll, we'll just fucking see. Is, there, is Shang Tsung in one of these wrestling games? I hope so. <laughs> I'd be down if he could just unlock like a more combat him. character or something. You know what I mean? That's like I'm fucking in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you have anything else you'd like to say about Super Turrican before no, we close think, out that section in the I show? Think I'm good. Think I'm good. Okay. Can we take some calls though? I I or we can do quiz. that. I do have a quiz, or we can take some calls. We can do things in however whichever let's, order we want. Let's, let's do that quiz first. All right. All yeah. right. I got a quiz. Uh. Entitled, Which Super Turrican Are You? I pulled this from BuzzFeed. Uh, (laughs) I've got a quiz. uh, Which brave freedom fighter of the USS (laughs) Fighting Freedom are you? Which which franchise ripoff are you? Galactus? Xenomorphs? (laughs) There's so many options. Doom Guy? (laughs) Samus Aran? (laughs) Cheap trick. <laughs> Cheap trick. <laughs> uh, the last question, unfortunately, was which one do you want to be? Who's so. who's okay? A mommy's <laughs> mommy? okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is daddy all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the title of this quiz is I can't think of a title. Perfect. Ross begins. I would love to say I have been busy uh, or doing something exciting, but that would be. A lie. Things have been ticking over and keeping me out of trouble. What's that mean? Uh, t- ticking over, like taking a lot of time, maybe. That, things and have been ticking out of over. Trouble, taking up his time. Is he covered in ticks? Yep. Lyme disease, <laughs> probably. You gotta L- watch out for that. Limey disease over in the. Oh, that's where it comes from. That's a, that was a pretty that was a pretty good joke. I didn't <laughs> I didn't laugh audibly, but you saw you saw my face. You look shocked. Yeah, yeah, no, because I was like, wow, that was that was a that was fucking that was good. I like that a, a, quite a bit. Got, got limeys all over his boat race. He does. <laughs> <laughs> I still love Liz. Like that's that's he's lying to you. They don't know. That's not real. Yeah, according to YouTube, boat race is what they call their faces. <laughs> uh, according to this Batman villain, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, Ross continues, uh, I did do some decorating, but very badly. But as it's a spare guest room, I really don't care enough to do anything about it. You shouldn't. Because the walls of my house are so old and shot, it really needs a lot more money than I have spending on it to make it good. Anyway... Enjoy more NTSC SNES games. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this. When he, for some reason, when he said NTSC uh, SNES games, it reminded me. We're not quite done uh, with the Turrican series. Uh, there is one more, technically, one more Turrican oh, game shit. on the Super Nintendo uh, that was renamed, I think, to like Ultimate Soldier or something like that. Mm, okay. So there is that. And I did watch some gameplay of it. And it looked like you can shoot diagonally. Oh, man. So there oh, we go. Shit. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First question This game is based on a film which is based on a comic and stars, quote, the Italian Stallion, unquote. Rocky? Sylvester Stallone? So it's a game. Based on a film, which is based on a comic. And stars the Italian Stallion. Cliffhanger? It's the only thing I can think of. Locking it in. It is fucking God damn it. If I swear to God, if we just thought about it. Judge Dredd? Judge Dredd. Yeah. 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 And we just talked about Judge Dredd, too, like on Messenger. Well, Cliffhanger was the first thing that came to mind. I might you're too. Right. Judge Dredd. But why Cliffhanger? Why? Why, why Cliffhanger? <laughs> Have you ever seen Cliffhanger? <laughs> no. No, me either. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Judge Dredd? Well, the remake, yeah, but <laughs> not the not the not the one with Stallone in it. 
God damn it. All right. <laughs> Next question. If he had said Carl Urban, we would have gotten <laughs> right? it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Uh, this sequel omits collecting fruit for time from the first game and adopts a more action RPG-like genre. This sequel omits collecting fruit for time. Okay, so in the original game, you collected fruit for time uh, and adopts a more action RPG-like genre. And it's a sequel. Super Adventure Island 2? Was there a Super Adventure Island 2? I, like I know you collected was. fruit in Super Adventure Island. That's, something I, that's why I'm... So I think, what did you collect fruit for? But yeah, action, but you collect fruit in so many fucking video games. An action RPG. Yeah, I think we'd know about an action R- like a Master Higgins action RPG. Mm. <laughs> all right, let's name all the action RPGs that we know. Okay. Zelda. You now your turn. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> <laughs> Action RPG on the Super Nintendo. Secret of Mana. That's not it. Yep. Secret of Evermore. Nope. You're not getting fruit for time. On a limit. So you're on a limited time. But in the original, you collected fruit for time. Oh, so this is a sequel. It adopt. Yes, it's a sequel, and it adopts a more action RPG like genre. Like action RPG like. Like. Yikes. Oh. The Hunt for Red October. <laughs> Your sequel to the Hunt for Red September. <laughs> yeah. Sean Connery, don't eat fucking fruit anymore, <laughs> man. <laughs> Sean Connery's fruit adventure. <laughs> Sean Connery. I like cherries. <laughs> uh, free Sean Connery fruit roll up included in every box. <laughs> Do you remember the fruit roll-ups that had shapes that would pull Oh, out? fuck yeah. yeah. What were those called? Try to get travesties. Because <laughs> when you try to pull it out, it would just stretch into some malformed, yeah. fucked up thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. I have no fucking clue. I don't either. Says. I don't either. Secret of Mana, locking it Joe in. Joe and Mac 2. Joe and Mac 2, locking it in. It is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's Super Adventure <laughs> Island it really? 2. It is Super <laughs> Adventure <laughs> Island 2. First of all, I didn't know that existed. Second of all, it's an action RPG. Yeah. We'll get to it. <laughs> I owe you a hamburger or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'll edit all that out. <laughs> hey, you got it. All right. Wow. Hey, I got that one right. Locked in. He got it. (laughs) Holy shit. Damn, I'm so sorry, man. God, I legitimately feel like, uh, I feel legitimately feel like Judge Dredd over here. (laughs) (laughs) Like a cliffhanger over here. (laughs) (laughs) We're doing great. Next question. (laughs) This game, god damn it, it's a super bitch island too. I didn't even know it was a thing. I got one to look at Flopsy. All right. He's got to be making. There's no way this is real. <laughs> this is like you and him got together and conspired <laughs> let's, against let's, me. <laughs> let's gaslight Dave in the fake game. <laughs> the hard part is going to be making a flopsy page to glue in the book. Fuck, dude. Yes. <laughs> Super Adventure <laughs> Island 2. Like, not to spoil that episode. Four and a half stars. Hell yeah. Well, so was Turkin too, though. That is that is true. <laughs> but this wasn't on IGN's list. That's why it's like, what mm, the fuck, man? Yeah. Do we, what are we working with here? Yep. All right, no matter what the randomizer pulls, we're playing Super Adventure Island 2, okay? Hey, that sounds good to me. <laughs> Let's, I, I'm down to do that next week. Let's do fucking do both of them, one and two. But they're different. You, well, well, you, you still want... collect fruit the, in, the, in the second one. <laughs> no, one's not. A... How about this? How about we take a Super Adventure Island break? And then the next episode, Super Adventure Island, and then the episode after that is Super Adventure Island too. Okay, and we can bookend them. Yeah, that's right. Good. All right. All right. The randomizer's not going to. That's be done. Oh no, it won't. Well, be. Let's still do the randomizer and see what we would have gotten. Okay, that'll be the one after after Adventure, Adventure Island one and two. Okay, that's fair. Okay. All right. That way, I don't feel super guilty. I'm, yeah. God, <laughs> fucking Super Adventure <laughs> Island too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Although I just spoiled the whole segment for. You know, two episodes in the future. Yeah, it's okay. All right. I'll edit it out. Let's take another call. Yeah, no one heard this. (laughs) Room for one extra call. It's fine. (laughs) 
Next question. This game, based on a film of the same name, sees the son of Satan coming to Earth to collect six rune stones to undo Earth's creation. Cliffhanger. Little Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> Little Nicky. It's a His Game Boy game Color. fucking sweet. <laughs> it's a Game Boy Color game. Yeah. All right, we're going to do Little Nicky and then Super Adventure <laughs> Island. And then, dude, I really want to play. I really want to really do an episode on Little Nicky. I, I'm down for that, too. <laughs> let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and plan out July. <laughs> okay, wait. How many video games out there are based on Adam Sandler movies? Could we do an Adam Sandler movie month, like a video game month? God. There's got to be a shitty, like, uh, grown-ups cart racer or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> a happy Gilmore golf game. Oh, you would think that would exist, right? <laughs> Is Little Nicky the only, like, Adam Sandler video game? <laughs> they were got to look it up. We have to. Dude, what if there's, like, a, what if there's an Earthbound, like? <laughs> <laughs> It's Billy Madison, only it's it's just like Earthbound. You're going around grade to grade instead of soundstone. Yeah, dude, I love it. How about uh, Hades, but it's Little Nicky instead? <laughs> I ne- I've never seen Little Nicky. I don't know if that works. <laughs> Harvey Cattell is behind It's Hades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to break out of here, Dad. <laughs> Uh, well, I keep just getting pixels whenever I try to do oh, the Adam Sandler yeah, video game. Yeah, the pixels movie really. So I guess I'm gonna the... have to go through his entire <laughs> filmography. <laughs> All right, grown ups. Just go with it. Happy no, Gilmore. No, whoa, 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 whoa! These are all video games. No, I'm just, oh, I'm okay. just looking at. Well, yeah, it's not gonna tell me shit. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Video games based on Adam Sandler movies is what I'm searching for. Uh, right now. Pretty sure there's a Spanglish romance <laughs> sim. <laughs> a language trainer for the DS. <laughs> this is what the movie's about, right? Hotel Transylvania. There's probably a Hotel Transylvania game. He's in Hotel somewhere. Transylvania? He's the voice of Dracula. What the fuck? I haven't seen any of those yeah. movies. Are they any good? Yeah, they actually are. Yeah. Yeah, Ken loved them. <laughs> There's an article on The Verge entitled, Adam Sandler is back to destroy some treasured video game memories. <laughs> I think this is a review for the movie Pixels. Oh, why isn't there a Guitar Hero Airheads? Because Adam Sandler's in Airheads. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> That's a good cast of Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi, and Adam Sandler. Yeah, Achievement Unlocked, Lemmy is God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pixels really fucked this one up. There's that, that gritty cop drama, Bulletproof, where it's him and Damon Wayans. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that one. Mm-hmm. Jack and Jill. Funny people. I did like funny people. I haven't seen it. Man, my parents love those, like, direct-to-Netflix Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, I remember they you fucking love me, those, dad, man. Dude. Yeah, when that ho- there's a horse that farts and shits on a wall, and, like, he lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> and and that disturbed me because I was like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you showed me Carlin. Now you're laughing at this. <laughs> but there's a scene in Funny People that hit home for me because Adam Sandler's a, a his his character is a, a famous successful comedian who basically hires this guy to be his friend because he doesn't have any friends. And he's like, all right, well, I'm a... Uh, I'm going to go to bed now, but uh, I want you to talk to me while I go to sleep. I, I like having a conversation and just and just falling falling asleep. Uh, okay. Uh, tell me about the first time you fingered a girl. I was like, <laughs> if I had that much money, that's something I would probably do. And I would say it just like that and go to bed. <laughs> oh, I'm giving up. On the figuring out what Adam Sandler movies have video game adaptations of them. Fucking Pixels. Fucking Pixels ruined it. Pixels fucking dominates. Like, dude, Little Nicky for the, what did you say it was for Game Boy Color? Uh-huh. Doesn't even like, that's not even on the first page of search results. Yeah, we got to do, uh, we'll have to do some research. Adam Sandler's. Yeah, it's going to take a deep dive. Yeah. Adam Sandler, Little Nicky. 
for the Game Boy Color has 4.5 out of 5 on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. That sweet ranking system, eBay. <laughs> it was published by Ubisoft. <laughs> oh, my God. 14 platforming levels and five mini games based on events from the film. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was hoping that related articles would be, you know, would have like some other Adam Sandler stuff. It doesn't. Cruise in Exotica, The Simpsons, Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror, and The Little Mermaid 2, Pinball Frenzy. That might be the only Adam Sandler movie video game <laughs> adaptation. Do you think there's a novelization out there for Little Nicky? <sighs> We, I hope so. We should read it. We should read it. We'll read it in real time. That's on our the next podcast. Patreon episode. We do a chapter. A dramatic <laughs> reading of Little Nicky, the novelization of the movie with Adam Sandler. All right. Next question. Again, I'm super sorry about Super Adventure Island. <laughs> uh, okay, right. This game, based on a film of the same name, sees the son of Satan coming to Earth to collect six rune stones to undo Earth's creation. It's based on a movie. The, the Ninth Gate. Is that what The Ninth Gate is about? I have no idea. I, I had it. Or is in that my what collection. 13 Ghosts is about? 13 Ghosts or 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys. <laughs> 12 Monkeys. Was or Eight Crazy game. Nights. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sandler movie, you're right. <laughs> I have no clue. No clue what that could be. The son of Satan comes to Earth to collect six rune stones to undo Earth's creation. Was Do you remember that movie, Act Razor 2? Is that what it's about? <laughs> You're probably right. Oh, what? Um, is Constantine a game? <laughs> um, maybe. Look, man. It's whatever you say. Because I was like, Super Mitchell <laughs> Island 2. <laughs> so, yeah, what's it, whatever you say. Because I don't know. I have no idea what this is. Seventh be. Saga. Seven, maybe. <laughs> it's not a movie. It can't be, right? Based off a movie. Um, Fight Club. Fight Club. <laughs> Cool World. The Hurt Locker. <laughs> <laughs> the Wrestler. <laughs> The son of Satan? Yeah, sees the son of Satan. Who is the son of Satan? I have no idea. It makes me sound like it's a, it's a jokey game, because that sounds too dark and too serious for a Super Nintendo game, but... Okay, so what's a jokey movie about the son of Satan coming to Earth to collect six rune stones? <laughs> Little Nicky. Um, I, shit, I have no idea. I really don't. I don't even... Uh, Ninth Gate is all I can think of. Ninth Gate. <laughs> Locking it in. It is Warlock. Never heard of it. Warlock. Warlock. Isn't that like a 70s movie or something? Mm. Maybe I'm confusing it with a different like horror movie. What's the one? I don't know what it's called, but there's a movie I saw a long time ago, a horror movie that involved like they go into this house and there's like this like sphere in the house that like flies, floats around and like kills people or something. Mm. I don't know. I have to look it up. Next question. This game was endorsed by an NFL star who retired in 1994 due to a neck injury he received trying to suck his own dick. I meant playing for the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be somebody's Madden? blah, 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 football. It was endorsed by an NFL star who retired in 1994. So it would have been before 1994. Uh, Emmett, I, Emmett Smith? Emmett Smith's... Football. Emmett Smith has a football game. All right. Emmett Smith's football. He probably retired after 94, but. I have no. Dude, I have no idea. I have no clue either. Emmett Smith. Logging it in. Here's my beautiful wife. Your beautiful wife, Sterling Sharp. Oh, pretty close. End to end. Do we want Pop-Tart? Not Pop-Tarts. Popsicles. So does the P P O. I'm a Popeyes. Pop Popeyes. Popeyes. I'm good. Thank you. What kind? What kind are they? I'm just curious. It actually might change my mind. Uh, are they Flintstones push-ups? Yeah. <laughs> Dollar store push-ups. <laughs> I'm sure they're made in the same factory. Because I would, I would <laughs> the whole rest of the show. Yeah, same. Thank you, though, dear. Thank you. Next question. This cinematic platformer is set on a station monitoring a wormhole. 
Is that like Deep Star Space Trek Nine? Deep Space Nine? Yeah, that's the one I can okay. think of. Logging it in. It is Star Trek Deep Space Nine Crossroads of Time. Nice. A Chrono All Trigger right. story. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono Trigger 3. Perfect. Deep Space Nine. <laughs> uh, next question. This game is the... Well, how is that the one we got right? Because we played it. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Uh, this game is the... Sort of. Kind of. This game is the third of its series and features two new heroes, Lucia and Dean, as well as two returning ones. That's that sounds like a fighting game. That sounds like the Peacemakers, or because it's like because there are three in that series on the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. So what's the third one? Because it was like Rival Turf. Rival Turf's the first one, right? Brawl. Brawl, Brawl Brothers, Brothers and then the Peacemakers. I think it is. The Pe- I think the Peacemakers is the last one. So Peacemakers. Peacemakers. Is my guess. Yeah. All right, locking it in. Peacemakers. It is Final Fight Three, <laughs> a game that I really liked. Yep. But did not remember the names of the new characters. Yep. Next question. This turn-based strategy takes place in the year thirty ten. What was that turn-based strategy game that, remember, there was a question about a turn-based strategy, and there was like, there's a turn-based strategy on the Super Nintendo game? Yep. Is it that one again? It could be. He's so fucking with us because we got it wrong. Because we're going to get it wrong we're not, again. We're, you're definitely not going to get it right again. It had a name like... War, War Mech 30... Yeah, I think yeah, it was like War Star or something. Yep. War Mech or... War, War Death. War Death. <laughs> Locking it in. It is... War 3010, The Revolution. Uh, yeah, there you go. I had half of that, yeah. half credit. But he did give us a part of the answer in the question <laughs> with 3010. <laughs> Next question. This Capcom beat em up platform game sees the player gathering special stones to prevent them falling into the wrong hands. And it's War of the Gems. Nice. Yep. Right? Yep. All right. The Avengers, War the of the wrong Gems hand. or something. All right. Yeah. Locking it in. It is Marvel Superheroes and War of the Gems. Next question. This game stars a medium-boiled detective visiting a tropical island when the mysterious Shaboom Shaboom Idol goes missing. Garfield goes to Hawaii. Did they port a leisure suit, Larry, to the Super Nintendo? That's, it's, it's something <laughs> like that. You're right. A shaboom boiled. Shaboom Idol goes missing. Adventure Island 1. Super Adventure <laughs> Island. <laughs> Ultimate Adventure Island. (laughs) Medium Boiled Detective visits a tropical island. Star Tropics 2. Super Star Tropics. Super Star Ropics. Oh, yeah. Star Ropics 2 would be Zoda's Revenge, I think. Super Star Ropics. Zoda back more. (laughs) (laughs) Who's back? That's right. Zoda. Zoda. (laughs) (laughs) Son of Star (laughs) Ropics. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Donkey Kong Country 3? <laughs> <laughs> Cranky Kong's Detective Caper. Oh, fuck, I would play that. <laughs> Sign me right the fuck up, man. Move over, Mario Golf, Super Rush. Mm-hmm. Time for fucking Cranky Kong's <laughs> Caper. In- Inspector Gadget? Because there's an Inspector Gadget game. Is there? I'm good with that. Pretty sure there is. But is he medium boiled? Soft boiled. I mean, yeah, Matthew Roderick, right? Broderick. Roderick? Broderick. Or French Stewart. <laughs> or French Stewart, right, yeah. <laughs> Definitely soft-boiled detective. <laughs> I don't have any better guess than that. All right, French Stewart's detective game, locking it in. <laughs> it is Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow. I, I can picture the cover. It's like a, a Donald Duck-type character with his yeah. with the blindfold on. Oh, God, I can't. I can't even. Next question. Writing about this movie tie-in, GamePro panned the Super NES version as the worst of the Super NES comic hero games. Did you do that again? Writing, yeah, sorry, I had to burp in the middle of it. Uh, Writing a a silent, it was a silent (laughs) burp. It was an inward burp. Yeah, Yeah. love the, yeah. Uh, I was like, can't let this one out. I'll just announce that I did it instead. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, writing about this movie tie-in, GamePro panned the Super NES version, so that implies there is another version, perhaps for the a Genesis. A movie tie-in. Yeah. As the worst of the Super NES comic hero games. Batman Forever? Yeah. Is my guess. 
because that game is horrible and I hate it. So bad. And it's superhero. I can't think of any Superman games. I can't think of any X Men games. Yeah, there was Return there of Superman. There weren't movies but that's not back movie then. Tie-in. So I mean, I think it'd have to be Batman. <sighs> I think Batman Forever is a really good guess. But there's also wasn't there. A- is there a Batman blank? 2. Is there a Blank Man game? Back to back. <laughs> man, God fucking. Is there any way I could stream like Blank Man? Because like, there's no way that movie, like, there's no way anyone's touching that in 2021. You know what I yeah. mean? I think every streaming service would be like, ah, you know what? I feel like this is probably like disappear into obscurity. Anytime. Does this whole movie revolve around like making fun of like a uh, mentally handicapped person? Yeah. 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 The whole thing, every have, bit of have it. Have you seen a Wayans Brother movie? <laughs> You mean like every joke? Uh, yeah, white chicks. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I still every time I think about Blank Man, I think about that Diabolical. audio <laughs> audio meme time. Whenever Diablo three came out, and it was like how I feel on each difficulty. On easy, you feel like Thor, and then on hard, you feel like Batman. On Inferno, you feel like in a picture of Blank Man. Wow, I don't think I'd seen that mm-hmm. one, dude. I loved. Blank Man. And when Blank Man like hit HBO or whatever, yeah. and it was summer, I fucking probably watched Blank Man <laughs> at least four times a week. I mean, it was just like, fucking <laughs> Blank Man's back. And it's like, yeah, Blank Man. And it's like, it got to the point where it's just like, I'd be bored and I'd just turn on the TV and be like, oh, Blank Man's in the middle. Guess I'm going to sit and watch <laughs> to the end. Blank Man. <laughs> but what's fucking wild is like, I can't tell you what it's about. Like now, other than making fun of handicapped right. people, right? Absolutely, that's like, yeah, the big thing. Yeah, that I'm pretty and- sure that's what he did. That was his power. <laughs> that and back to back and diabolical. Those are the two things I can remember. So, uh, blank man, lock it in, blank man, blank man, lock it in. It is Batman forever. We'll count that. Yeah, we will. Next question Fuck, Mary, kill Wonder Woman, She Hulk, Captain Marvel. Yikes. Could I kill any of these women? I don't think we, I could kill any of these try. women. We could try. Could we? <laughs> you can't even do a fucking turnbuckle <laughs> her <a> Karana. <laughs> Pussy come Rana. <laughs> um, I guess I would kill uh, Captain Marvel. Man, that's tough. Because like, before the movie, before the MCU, I might have said that too. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck Wonder Woman, and I'm gonna marry She Hulk because I could never be accepted by Wonder Woman's culture. But uh, She Hulk is a, a a lawyer, yeah. So she's yeah. a hot lawyer. So there we go, and she can protect me with her all her strength. That is true. I and, do like She Hulk. There's and some her really lawyer good lawyer money. There's some really good She Hulk comics mm-hmm. out there. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna kill Wonder Woman. God, it's so fucking mm-hmm. tough. It's so fucking tough. Cause I like I like Gal Gadot. Am I saying your name mm-hmm. right? I don't know if I am or not. I think it's I think is it's it Gadot. I don't know. It, it is something. I don't like know. That. It, it's the opposite of how Gadot is how I want to pronounce it. Right? No, it's not that. Right? Okay. <laughs> but I mean, she's great. Mm-hmm. But if we're just like basing she's a pretty it, pretty perfect Wonder Woman. If yeah, absolutely. If we're basing it just on characters alone, outside of their movie appearances, and that if that. Yeah, then I think I'd kill Wonder Woman. Yeah. And then probably probably also marry She Hulk for the same reasons that you gave. Yep. Uh and fuck Captain Marvel. It sounds like a bad way. Like I mean like have a, a romantic relationship with mm, Captain Marvel. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Fuck a Mary Kill, Batman, Superman, Spider Man. Now we're fucking talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can answer this one real fucking fast. Batman, Spider Man, and who else? Batman, Superman, Spider Man. Kill, Superman. kill Superman. Hands down. Yep, he's yep, gone. Gone. Um, I'm gonna marry Batman. Get that Wayne money. Ugh. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna have a uh, have a little uh, affair with uh, Spider Man. He's good at hiding shit, so you have an affair and fuck Spider Man. He kind of is not though. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna also call him Spider or Tiger. <laughs> you hit the jackpot. Come, That's what you're going to say. Come get this asshole, <laughs> when you tiger. Come on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spit webs at each other. Hey, yeah. there you go. Fucking web slinger <laughs> over here. Um, man. You're going to wish for Mephisto to make you forget about all this. 
Spidey, I think I'm running out on fluid. You mind filling me up? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill Superman. Get me pictures of Spider Man's <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, I don't think I want to marry Batman because, like, he's a fucking psycho, dude. And it's like, I don't think that I could deal with that for very long. He is crazy. You're right. I think I would probably just have, like, a better life with Spider Man, even if we lived in poverty. It'd be fine, I think. Because it's like, but I mean, I look at you marrying for love and not money. Yeah. I don't. Or political affluence. Yeah. I don't. Well, I just think Batman might eventually kill me. And I don't think that Spider Man, like, would. I mean, look at that. You have a contingency plan to kill you. Well, look at what, Absolutely. I mean, look at. I mean, fucking. Nah, some of the Robins don't make it. Just going to throw that out there. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what villain will I eventually become from marrying Batman? Yeah, right. But then again, I mean, you got Gwen Stacy. So, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I guess I'm going to marry Superman then. I changed yeah. my mind because Lois Lane's fine and dandy. Yeah, <laughs> Superman's going to gonna take care of you, and he's a really sweet guy. It's going to be boring God, sex. it's going to be the worst. So it's boring. It's going to be the worst. I mean, his dick's going to be super hard, but I mean, outside of that, it's going to be... He's going to be very like, gentle, like, no, I don't want to hurt you. No, but my, all my God strength. And, right. But do you want a glass of milk? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you shut up and fuck why me? Why don't you fuck me? <laughs> For once in your fucking life, Superman, why don't you fuck me? Choke me a little bit, Clark. A little. <laughs> Let me wear the glasses. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck Batman, Mary, Spider Man. Okay. Oh God, the real question. <laughs> the Shit. real okay. question. I like the escalation of these. Mm. Peppy hair, slippy toad. Falco Lombardi. I'm killing Falco. I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't want to fuck Falco, given the satisfaction, and I couldn't marry Falco. So I love, I'm killing Falco. I love how serious you yeah, sound. Like, oh, as a kid, I was like, that fucking dick I bird. Will never fuck that yeah, bird. Uh uh-uh. uh. Forget either, about either it. Either I fuck him, and he's like, what you, is that all you got? Blah, 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 blah. And then, then if he fucks me, he's like, yeah, I'm fucking you, aren't I? A real Sundare, this Falco Lombardi. Yeah, so, yeah, no, no. Killing Falco. Um. So uh, I guess I'm gonna fuck. Slippy now you're and Mary left Peppy. with some losers. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Sli- uh, the Ralph Wiggum of the uh, Star Fox universe, mm-hmm. Slippy. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> or uh, Peppy Hair. Well, I guess. I mean. I guess. Would it be? Would it be some sort of a crime if you just fuck Slippy? Is that? I think all of these are crimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Except for that horse farm. That's what, those were crimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking Slippy marrying Peppy. You're gonna fuck Slippy marry Peppy. I think doesn't Peppy like he increases in rank, right? Yeah. And like Star Fox Assault, doesn't he? Like but he get retires up? and you know has more of a ground. Yeah. All right. So that's good. Yeah. Um, He'd be a good father to our monstrous bunny children. Man, I kind of want to fuck Falco just once. <laughs> and that's why that's why he's such a uh, overconfident jerk because he and know he knows like you want to fuck this no once. no don't get it twisted I want to fuck him yeah you want the, you want this cloaca don't get it once. twisted <laughs> yeah once we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make sure you never fly what's again. wrong buddy you out of inches <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um. But I mean, come on, don't, you can't do like, look. You Put a bogey in my tail. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, okay, look. Like, What's Tyler good at? Making weird sexual <laughs> Star Fox jokes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to poke a hole in that statement and say uh-huh. that it's very weird that you point out the, the Birdman's cloaca I don't even know what a frog has. Mm. Do you just rub your seed on its skin? Or like, I don't know how that works. Yeah, that's true. I guess the good, got good toothless throat <laughs> job from Slippy. <laughs> no, man. I've seen like a bullfrog eat a bat. Why don't you be Slippy in this frog pussy? <laughs> 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 you got me all oozy. <laughs> and this is why Star Fox 2 never came out. <laughs> <laughs> the secret level of Star Fox 2. Do a barrel roll in his ass. <laughs> 
press Z to tap this ass. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get to the crystal ones for Jeff. He's probably edging right now, just waiting for us to get to crystal. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I don't think I don't. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't know personally, but I don't know that Jeff has that stamina. What is that <laughs> cup full of flies on this table? <laughs> What's in there? And the the green cup. There's like a bunch of flies in, in there. One? Yeah. What's in there? Nothing. Not, nothing. Oh. Maybe those aren't flies. That's probably mold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe they're like black sesame seeds. <laughs> that freaked me out, man. I can tell you were very... I was like, what is, what is in that cup? Tell me now. That's about artifact of Beazel, Bob. Lord of Phil. <laughs> Two hours into this, I need to know what I've been breathing. <laughs> you want to take some calls? Oh, while I'm oh. while I'm thinking about it, I don't yeah. want to forget frog pussy. A frog pussy. It's back on the menu, boys. There, there are two. I'm going to claim them as tadpog babies. Two yes. new ones. So congratulate two. Paul and Chandra. Right. Yeah. Congratulations. And then Micah and Ashley. Oh, also, hey. also have a have baby. Hey. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. y'all. My goodness. Simon Same and day? Oakley, respectively. I don't know if it was the same day, but it was a very close time period. Let's just say it is. That's more S- fun. Same day, yeah. 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 So what did uh, Micah, what did they What did they name their kid? Oakley Rider. Oakley Rider. Mm-hmm. Not Falco. Not Falco. <laughs> Falco Lombardi <laughs> Purdue. Falco Lombardi <laughs> Purdue. Uh, that's a good call. That's yeah, good very. Call. All right. Congratulations. I'm glad you, yeah, I meant to mention, um, I didn't know about Micah's. That's great. Uh, but I meant to mention uh, the baby corn. You want to take some calls, or are we done? Let's take some calls. All right. All right. First call. I want to read some. I just got a message. I have to read this real quick. From, okay. From one God Emperor, Alex P. Oh, yeah, please. A decree. I've been staying away from Facebook, so I haven't been dropping the usual Good hearts on episode posts. Good for you. Yep. Me too. <laughs> Good for... How has your life improved? Tell me how your life has improved. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you guys know... That these past few episodes, in my opinion, have been some of the best you guys have put out. Keep doing what you're doing. Love you guys. Alex, heart I'm, that. I'm so sorry for this episode, Alex. But I do think you probably enjoyed the frog pussy, so never mind. Can that be the new subtitle of our podcast? Tyler Day Play Old Games. We hope you enjoy the frog pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. New, I, new shirt. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I'll, look, I'll make it if you wear it. Okay. <laughs> All right. In public. Oh. At Tater Day. I say, how about I just fuck my wife in it? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll put on the frog pussy shirts. As long as it's in public, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's fine. That works. Thank you, Alex. That's very nice. We've been trying real hard. I've, I've, I'll speak for me personally. I feel re-energized with the show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, the all calls I feel very good about helped, and since. then move into yep. Thursday. All that's really helped. First call. This is coming in uh, from o- October seventeenth, twenty nineteen. Perfect. Oh, it's super quiet. Here, let me fix that. Let me fix that. We got this. This is fine. We do this all the time. This is professional. Yeah. Motherfucking chat bog. Okay, guys. This is probably gonna be a rant uh, because first time caller. Uh, I've been listening to you guys for. First time caller. Yeah. Nate? Still got some of those. <laughs> like two years. Uh, love you guys so much. Thank you. My name's Travis, by the way. I don't have a cool ass handle because, of course, like I said, just kind of listening. Don't comment too much. Uh, Patreon donor. Thank you. On, uh, Thank you, cool ass Travis. Cool ass Travis, man. We, you, yes, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. were there. Cool ass Travis. Yeah, that was a fucking mind meld right yep. there. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Sorry, I'm nervous as shit. It's but fine. When I call you guys, I had to call you because uh, we're just literally two nervous idiots. Nervous shit, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally two idiots in a garage. Don't yep. be nervous. Yep. yep. <laughs> and I keep looking over at that vent and thinking it's Bella. I'm like the dog's not in here. <laughs> Why is the dog not moving and made of hard looking? plastic? <laughs> Why she just look at me with her one cyclops eye? <laughs> I just listened to Hack and Tom. And um, it's, it's super special because it was his birthday podcast, 
and uh, I just had to cut through my fears and call you guys and say fucking happy birthday, Dave. I think it's super. Thank super you. No, not from Adam. Not from Adam. Not from Adam. Yeah. From cool, cool ass, ass Travis. Travis. <laughs> New, new, new beloved. If you ask me, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> someone remember He's my birthday. <laughs> I know who's getting a frog pussy shirt for free. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate birthdays, I thought I'd call you. Love you guys so much, and it's just like I gotta say it. I gotta say fucking happy birthday today. Thank you. It's just Tyler's birthday's coming up real soon. It's July the tooth. It's true. It's true. So that's the day this episode publishes. I don't know if that's true or not. It's, it's pretty fucking close. Pretty close, though. <laughs> Incredible. The, the content you guys put out and all that stuff, we just love it out here. Um, but back, yeah, back to your birthday. Fuck. Um, I, I'm calling because my parents have forgotten my birthday like fuck, three <laughs> times in my life. <laughs> no! Uh, all right, I need to know how old you were. That they forgot. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, one under ten is like I think you can take them to court. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> talk about forgetting stuff that's important. That just reminded me of whenever Meg's brother was in college, the family moved and forgot to tell <laughs> him. So when he came home for Christmas no, break, no, it was there. He came in, couldn't get in the door, knocked on it. Different family. The police tackled him. <laughs> so he had to call. Like, so, oh yeah, we moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was his reaction? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> was he married at the time? No. Because well, my thing would be like, well, I'm going to go spend Christmas with uh, my wife's family. <laughs> yeah, Thank you very yep. much. You guys, uh, fuck you very much. I'm he, out. He was like a freshman in, at uh, in at Wake Forest and came home for Christmas. Hey, didn't we have a kid? Do we have like four of those? How many of fuck those them. do we have? <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to lose some, so let's just not tell them when we move. Do you think they didn't tell them because they forgot to buy them presents? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> shit to me on my birthday and first few times it wasn't like that big of a deal or i mean it was like way bigger of a deal because i was like younger i was like 14 first time and then fucking in college the second time <laughs> 14 then, is 14 is too young for your parents to forget your birthday bad. i feel that yeah, that is pretty bad yeah. that is pretty bad i don't cool ass travis you deserve better than yeah, that you do fuck your parents those sad Man. ass sad ass travis's parents i hope your christmases were baller though oh they made up for that <laughs> And uh, again, this year, on my 40th birthday, uh, they just didn't call me for like a week, which they're like in their 70s, so I don't care. Whatever, you know, they forget fucking the brains, you know. I don't think it's because they're in their 70s. (laughs) Unless they were in their 70s when you were 14. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so uh, I just think it's super important Say happy birthday to people on the birthday because fucking when somebody forgets it, it fucking sucks. Yeah, beloved Adam. You hear? But, you know, yeah. that's... <laughs> just kidding, beloved Adam. You're beloved. I'm not. Shit. You should have known. You should have known we'd be reading this at some random date in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to make it up to me. I mean, like, when I was 14, they bought me a TV. It was a 19-inch TV that was pretty game-changing to me because, like, uh, fucking, I moved my Super Nintendo and my Genesis to my room instead of playing on the family. Game changer. Yeah. Game changer. Literally. A game changer. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I remember that day. That was a good day. TV, and that was awesome because, like, I could, uh, you know, pause it and, like, close my door, tell them I was playing my video games, all that shit, and jerk off and, and, no, no questions asked. They're right. Like, what are you doing in your room? Are you jerking off? No, I'm playing video games. So that was a score. If you're jerking off, we're going to forget your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you come thinking about Falco Lombardi, <laughs> it's one less candle on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait till you're 40. <laughs> and then, like, the second time when I was in college, they forgot it. They gave me a hoodie. This year, they didn't give me a goddamn thing. So, <laughs> I don't know. When you get older, things suck. Yeah. Confirm. So, anyway, hmm. love you guys. Love you, Tyler. Love you, Dave. Uh, Tyler, I'll call you on your birthday. I'll give you a fucking weird-ass message, too. So, <laughs> love you. See you. Uh, peace out. 
Thanks, cool ass Travis. Thank you. Yeah, that was a very nice call. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Very, very nice. I'm sorry that your parents forgot about your birthday that four times. Suck. That yeah. does suck. Although I will say that, like, yeah, I don't get really anything. Like, I don't know. I say I don't get anything. Like, my mom gives me like I think ten dollars or something on my birthday. It's kind of one of those things where it's like. It's more just like a gesture, and it's yeah. like, Mom, I don't really want ten dollars. I mean, you got like a hundred dollars. <laughs> I was just about to say that if you didn't like, you got like I don't really want this, but Mom, if you have more, Mom, ten dollars doesn't go quite as far as it used to. <laughs> Save this for Henry's birthday. Give me a hundred. Right, give me the good <laughs> shit. Yeah. All right. Next call. All right. Okay. So while I'm listening Hello. to you, Michelle. Marvel, I have to say that I am a poser too. I only. No. What? I'm a poser too. Okay. That's what you said. All right. Okay. Um, a little bit of the cartoons that I watched as a kid, and then I know the Marvel movies. Are you implying that we're posers and that we don't actually like Frog Pussy? Because I'll have you know, you fucking love Frog. Pussy. I can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> Tree frogs, toads, bullfrogs, you fucking name it, and I'm fucking all over that. I've tattooed a frog on Melissa's <laughs> vulva. <laughs> it's like a lily pad. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue goes up her ass crack and small of her back. We all we both love it. The kids think it's Yoshi, but like we correct them all the time. <laughs> no, that's your mother's frog <laughs> pussy, okay? We're not weird. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I know. Uh, I don't read the comics because I feel like I'd want to start at the beginning. And I know that every 10 years they reboot their comics, so it doesn't matter. That's why I don't care about continuity from the show to the comic books. So we're like, oh, they changed this. And I'm like, yeah, but it's the comics. They change every 10 years. That's fine. But I would want to start at the beginning and see how they all change, and that's a lot of comic books and a lot of money, so I don't read those. I read, like, Vertigo comics. I read Saga. Yeah. Read, Saga's um, great. Fables. I read Why the Last Man. Well, I have that, and I'm going to read it. But I also wanted to tell you that I am a barbarian monster, um, because I kept my comic books in the bathroom, not on the floor where you <laughs> pee. You don't pee on your comics like a real person? Keep, you keep, we'll keep them in a stack beside your toilet. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of like... I mean, I can <laughs> see like keeping a... Like a, like a like a magazine rack. Like a trade paperback in the bathroom, but not like a legitimate comic book, right? Mm -hmm. Not like... You're not talking about like a legitimate like floppy comic book, right? Mm hmm. Uh -huh. I can't do that. On them, I did keep them on the back of the toilet, and now they are on a in. There's a wall thing, and the comic books are in the wall thing. Like where you keep the soap in the tub. The wall thing. I'm glad you have a wall thing for your poop comics. <laughs> are they about pooping? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, they're in the wall thing, so that you can grab a comic and read it while you're pooping. Um, and if a page gets folded, oh god, oh. I also dog ear books. And oh, yeah, well, those are books. So I'm sorry to everyone that I just made cringe. I am a monster. Goodbye. You're not a monster. You just um, aren't thinking about reselling your comics, <laughs> which doesn't make you a monster at all. Like, that's the only reason I take care of my comics is because it's like, I don't know, man. One, One day, day, who knows? Probably not. But if so, at least, you know, they'll yep. be in good condition. They'll fetch more money. Um, but, man, I don't do anything on the toilet anymore except play on my phone. Or Switch yep. or PSP. I, I play a video game. Yep. Or talk on Discord. <laughs> like, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't, yep. dude, I can't tell you the last time I read a book on the toilet. I mean, I've recently read a shampoo bottle because my phone was charging. <laughs> but that's it. What's in there? Hydrox like, <laughs> hydroxy sulfide, some shit. 
Tony's gonna say that would have fucking killed you, man. If you Pro- watched probably, your- <laughs> probably, yeah. Thankfully. Also, um, yeah, like dog earring books, I do that too. But I guess I also don't ever think about like reselling books or anything. If I don't plan on reselling something, I'll treat it like it's my own. <laughs> but. Like, <laughs> <laughs> on it. But I mean, seriously, if I'm thinking about ever like reselling something, I treat it like I am borrowing it from somebody else. Mm. Like, I don't take care of my shit. I take care of sh- other people's shit like yeah. when they give it to me. And like, yeah, if I plan on selling it, it's like, well, one day this will be someone else's shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, one more. Get our three mm. for the episode. I can do two. You do two? Sure. Can I do two? We two, do two more or we're going with the two that we just did? Two more. I got two more ready. I can do okay. We can do whatever. I'll do two more. I'll do two more. Hey, guys. It's Yuri or Zeus Laser. And Zeus. And it's just something on my mind right now that I have to have to talk to you guys. Zeus, do you have a wall thing? <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> We're doing research. Do you have a wall thing? Uh, about immediately. Uh, going through Disney Plus, I'm seeing that there's a Cinderella movie that came out in 2007. My daughter's loving time it. Travel. I for one. Time travel? It's a time travel one. A Cinderella time travel mm-hmm. movie? All fucked up, yep. I watched a Cinema uh, cinema Sins or whatever about it. You haven't seen the movie, though? Oh, okay. No, I have not. Did Cinema Sins say it was a bad it, movie? No, no, it wasn't Cinema Sins. It was something else about like a channel that just did shitty direct-to-video, direct-to-home video Oh, Disney and that's movies. what this was, yeah, yeah. a direct-to-video? Yep. Gotcha. I'm devastated. Does Gilbert Godfrey voice Cinderella? All, all the characters. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Got it in one, Gilbert. <laughs> it changes the entire canon of the story. The fairy godmother finds the wand in the forest, goes back in time, makes one of the, <laughs> you know, the ugly daughters, I mean, whatever it is, what it is, uh, you know, fit into the shoe. Uh, this is essentially... The Star Trek remake, the fourth Star Trek remake. <laughs> um, Disney has outdone themselves once again. I'm, I, for one, five out of five. Horrified, empty. <laughs> My daughter likes it. I uh, just don't know how to make sense of life or anything right now. Uh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Thanks, Zeus. Yeah, this is all news to me. I didn't know this existed. Yep. I don't know that I'm going to watch that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think I'll stick a Secret Life of Pets with him. I don't, I don't even think the girls have seen that, and they've they love all that obtuse <laughs> Disney shit. Let's get all the kids together. We'll find Let's out. Have a viewing. I want all you guys to watch Cinderella three. Let me know what you think. Homework. <laughs> <laughs> Disney homework. Which Cinderella Same. two character are you? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Zeus. Thank you, Zeus. Good to hear from you. Last call. Hi, Papa. You terrified Michelle. Terrified Michelle. Um, I'm on that. Talking about Prince of Persia and it's a good game. Got a book. Um, do you read regular books? I mean, I- read what? Regular books? Regular books? No, never. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, gross. <laughs> I'm sure you can read. I just don't know. If you read. I don't have. Time. I don't know how to read. Mm-mm. The Kentucky public school system is very bad. <laughs> it's very, very bad. very bad. I have all my D and D books read to me. Yeah. Right. Oh, they're in. They're on. They're written on shampoo bottles. In fact, <laughs> I'm to read regular books anymore unless they're super short. So I I stick to audio books. So I'm not judging you. <laughs> but then Dan's reading this really long book, and he's talking about how it opens up with beating your wife. Um, and you're like, I have to check on that. See what she feels. And I'm all like, <laughs> Tyler's like, not sexual enough. And I'm like, depends on the type of beating. And whether or not she's in the BDSM, uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> but. I'm intensely confused. What? I'm intensely confused. BDSM. BDSM. A book that I was reading. That you were reading. About it opening up with a guy beating his beating wife. Beating his wife. I mean, that sounds like some shit that you're into, so it could be anything, really. <laughs> Name five Brendan books. Brendan Sanderson writes a lot about a lot of wife-beating-based <laughs> magic systems. Name the last five books Depending that you read on the kind of wife you, beat, that, you get magic powers. I don't understand how difficult this is for you. I, I know ever since you trans- transferred over to, like, Frog Pussy books, you just don't remember the wife-beating <laughs> oh. books anymore. Classic problem. I strictly read... Pay pay <laughs> frog based literature. <laughs> <laughs> Only the rarest pay pay books for me. 
Pee pee Pepe. I just said Pepe. I don't know. Pepe. But I have no idea. Pepe. There's like a documentary about that frog and like how it was like taken over by uh, alt right and all that. And yeah. 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 Sad. It's dirty. A dirty frog pussy. Dirty, dirty, dirty so frog dirty. pussy. Dirty alt rot frog pussy. <laughs> I listen to either the podcast or a book while I'm driving and when I'm in bombing. Um, and I'll be in, when it's in my car, nobody gives a shit because I'm in my car. I mean, the people driving next to me may look over and be like, what the fuck? But otherwise, <clears throat> they don't know anything, so they don't care. But I'll have two headphones in my ears when I am in bombing. <laughs> they'll periodically make a comment to my book, on my book, and I'm not talking to anybody else. You're such a good book. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good talker book. Yeah, I'm glad I downloaded you. I'm glad you're an ear book. <laughs> but the book, I do it all the time for sports <laughs> people yelling at the TV. I also yell at the TV when it's a scary movie, and I'm like, why are you going in there? Have you never seen a scary movie? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the coffee. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I like to think that uh, everyone in a horror movie is, they live in a universe where horror movies do not exist. You have, yeah. Just like what Walking Dead, there's no zombie literature. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. If you were a if you were a person, you could get in this ass book. <laughs> <laughs> book, if you were my lover, you could choke me a little bit, and I would probably finish pretty hard. Uh, yeah. You're good. You're you're a good book like that. Yeah. <laughs> <Book>. <laughs> Terrified Michelle continues. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably go to the doctor. That doesn't sound like a good cough. I'm you do scream coughing, Michelle. It's very concerning. <laughs> do you, terrified Michelle, do you scream sneeze? Because my dad does. And I do think it's genetic. And I've been trying to work on not doing it anymore. Sneezing doesn't feel as good as it used to, but I scare a lot less people now. <laughs> Melissa's mom and Artsy AJ both, they, oh, they scream man. sneeze. Oh, God, my dad. I mean, Jesus. I mean, he just fucking lets him go, dude. <laughs> they, they think nothing of it, but when I say words, they're like, no, who are you talking to? And I'm like, I'm talking to my boy. They're like, what the hell? And I'm like, you're not here to listen to it. You're not in my ears. And if you were here to listen to it, it'd be the same thing, but you'd know what I was commenting on, and now you don't. They already know I'm weird, so it's not too weird. But I just wonder if any of you guys talk to your books, whether you're reading. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> uh-uh. no, 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 no. I never have. I don't think mm. I ever have. Mm. Now, when I'm playing a video game, I've definitely been like, "Shit!" <laughs> but you're not like cursing like at the cartridge. <laughs> no, I've done that. You, 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 gray bitch. <laughs> you square gray bitch. <laughs> Uh, wait, who am I talking to again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could literally be anyone. Your, your Sviver Nebula girlfriend. <laughs> that could be five people I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do it when I'm reading a book or when I'm listening to a book, which I also consider reading. Um, but I'm, you know, separating the two so you understand. So I mean both ways. And um, I was just wondering if you guys have that problem. But you're probably going to be like, no. <laughs> no, no. No. Nope, nope, not so, at all. That's all. And uh, Dave, good luck with your bulge. And uh, that's it. Take Thank care. you. Thank you. I've gained a lot of weight since the bulge issue, so I just wear baggier pants now, and nobody can see my penis. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate it. Good calls. Good calls. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Terrified Michelle. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry we don't yell at her books. <laughs> We don't have to summon the randomizer, though, because next week... Yeah, we, we, you want to do the thing and see what it is that we have to do once we're... For, for the fourth week, because next week is Little Nicky. <laughs> and then we're Wait, gonna oh, do, we're doing Little Nicky next? Let's do Little Nicky next week, and, that, then, and then two Adventure Islands. And then Super Adventure Islands? Island. Super Adventure Islands, Super Adventure Island 2. All right, okay. And then do you want to draw now for what the fourth game would be? 
I, it, look, man, this is our thing. We can do whatever we want. If you want to, sure. If you don't, I don't. It's fine. I just say, let's just let's just ride it out. Little Nicky next week. Game little Boy Nikki Color next week. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can run it. But yeah, Little Nicky. Well, it, well there, there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna. I'm excited to watch the movie. I've never seen it before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't hate it, but I watched it. Yeah, I heard people liked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not terrible. It's not like is John Stewart in that one. I don't think so. He, Am I thinking of the... I don't remember. I'm, you I'm think not, of Half-Baked? Well, I know he's in Half-Baked, but isn't he in like an Adam Sandler like... Uh, Big Daddy. Ah, uh, I haven't seen Big Daddy either. Big, I did like Big Daddy. Okay. There's no Big Daddy Game Boy Color game? <laughs> Sadly virtual <not>. Boy game? <laughs> the Scuba Steve Big Daddy Virtual Boy game. How, now, how the fuck do I know about Scuba Steve, but I've never seen Big Daddy? Because people made plenty yeah. of jokes about it outside of the, yeah. outside of the movie. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, next episode, Little Nicky. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of love this podcast a little yeah, bit. A little yeah, a little bit, a little yeah. bit. So, uh, <laughs> hey, you want to send us something? We're yeah. going to have a tasting uh, video sometime soon, but if you want to send us something uh, in the meantime, that's Tab Box Studios, care of Nicole Nance, people at 3785 Paducah, Kentucky, 42002. You want to call us? Like, we're, t- we're taking more active calls, 270-883-2555. Yeah, you can ask us questions, like... Do you talk to your books? You yell at your books. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> uh, you know, like the, that you're at work too. That it makes it better. <laughs> she's she's like in, embalming bodies, right. yelling at books. She's yelling at the bodies. You again. Body? No, I'm yelling at my book. I'm not crazy. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> Uh, hey, we're on Facebook. If you like Tadpog, Tadpog on Facebook, Tadpog Nation. We got that group with that dank shit. But if you yeah. like good organized chat, that's yeah. yeah, our Discord. Yeah, bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. Check it out. It's cool. Or we, as close as it's going to get. Yeah, yep. We are also uh, on Twitter and Instagram at Tadpog underscore podcast. Yep. I stream on Twitch on Sundays, twitch.tv slash Tadpog underscore podcast. I will be streaming a little Nikki for the Game Boy Color, <laughs> but you already know that by the time uh, you're probably listening to this. So, uh, most importantly, we got that Patreon. Yes, uh, still the same, <laughs> right? Which is great. That's fine. We, it's we're perfectly happy with that. We understand. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, very much. Uh, our theme song is "Move" by Sigma Drive. Link that track from the show notes at tapbox.com. And this episode was executive produced by the following people. I wanted to get that in there so I didn't have to like record it at home like I did last time because I totally forgot. These are the people who donate at $20 or more a month on Patreon.com. We've got God Emperor Alex Pena. Thank you for your message. Thank you for staying off of Facebook. Smart move. Smart move. I like that. Cousin David Galino. Cthusius Jeff Miners. Laud Mullaney Dennis, Zeus Slazer, Steve Dixon, Plinko Nick Price, Clambro Cody Phillips, Bantha Master, Executive Producer Dig Dougie, The Eightfold Daniel Abernathy, Time Lord Josh Edwards, Game Bug Prime Nathan Eaton, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage, Magical Sleeper, a.k.a. Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn, Usurper Grimm, Temporary Eternal Savior Cubicle Monkey, Pinball Archmage Chris Edler, I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode, Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, First Time Caller, Drinksmith, Joey Webster, Big Daddy Paul Anderson, not to be confused with Big Daddy from the Adam Sandler movie, uh, no, Scuba Steve, <laughs> uh, Edgelord Kyle, Pertleball, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, John of 1000 Names, and General Kenobi Massacre. Yeah. Thank you guys very, very much. Hey, we're closest on that, Dave. As our favorite knockoff Galactus. Could be any of them. Okay. So until next time. Tropical Capricorn. You were the cloud from Fantastic Four, too. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I was, I don't know. I just, I didn't come up with anything. So I just said it loud, kind of. That's that's how Galactus do. Yeah. That's how he do. I did it like he was sad because Silver Surfer like got his own comic book, and I didn't. Yeah, so I was a little bummed out. I'm just talking with uh, whatever the the what's his name the the Reed Richards kid that hangs out with Galactus because he's all powerful. 
So I didn't know that was a thing that happened. I knew that their ki- I knew that they had a kid, mm-hmm. and I cannot remember that kid's name. And I knew that that kid was like all powerful, but I didn't know that he hung out with Galactus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just hangs out with Galactus. Man, I'm kind of glad I don't read comic books anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have a very strong Mega Man vibe to how the game actually plays out and the story pacing. Okay. To be like Mega Man. All right. That's cool. I like that. So I'll play a fat guy with a gun. Perfect. (laughs) (laughs) I'll play Jimmy again. (laughs) Dressed as Mega Man. He's in blue. (laughs) That's what, fuck, man. If I'd have been thinking when people like talked about like what Jimmy looks like instead of John Goodman, it should have been like, the guy, yeah. uh, the guy Me- on the cover of Mega Man Mega 1. Mega Man 1 art. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jimmy like when he lost all his sanity. Essentially. <laughs> he got really into Tron and lost his sanity. <laughs>